Hello, welcome to the world's cruelest dungeon master, <laughs> me, Marshall Cubes. I hate you! <laughs> welcome to Eroes, the Zindy campaign, here on the Yogscast Twitch, also on the High Rollers D&D Twitch. If you're watching us over there, why not? Welcome, friends! It's me, your DM. Joining me this week, we have... <laughs> Hello! It's Rhiannon! <laughs> <laughs> She's still here! It's Chris Trot. Hi! It's Kim! Hey! <laughs> Tom Hazel! And Katie! Hello, Morris! Welcome, wow, friends! Surnames and everything today! Welcome <laughs> to a little stream. Mm. First things first, I'd like to say a big thank you to our sponsors. Yeah! Woo! D&D Beyond! Woo! And Display! Yeah! yeah. D&D Beyond is the official digital tool set <laughs> for Dungeons & Dragons. With character building, a compendium, and an encounter builder on the way. They've been a long-time sponsor. We love them. We're not cool enough to do any crazy presidential bids or elaborate animated intros. Prime Minister? But what we do have, we could do a Prime Minister thing. Oh. But what we do have is a code. That's right, a discount code. code. Yeah. This will get you 25% off their legendary bundle. Yeah. Legendary. Wow. Everything. Uh, that was pretty good. That's a wow reference for uh, D&D. Yeah, absolutely. Or, or a <laughs> nice. Mark Turpin Fine. reference. Fine. Uh, or Turps, yeah. The legendary bundle pretty much has every book ever released for D&D up till now, and it's discounted prices for future content as well. Oh, if nice. you use the code warm plates. Yeah. Uh, you'll get 25% off the legendary bundle, and this offer extends throughout Mar all of March. That's the code warm plates for 25% off the legendary bundle. Make um, that brings round. it down from like $400 to like less than 300, like 300 or so dollars. Camera's not it's really on you. Good. I don't know. Um, <laughs> She's just saluting and like just pointing, saluting, at pointing and, and saluting. Uh, like, do it. Camera's on me now. All right. Uh, Mark second, this is Mark's Mark, moment. This is Mark's sponsor moment. Second oh. of all, uh, second sponsor, Display. Never buy a frame again. Yay! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> disc plates are metal plates with gorgeous artwork from your favorite series and brands. We've put together a High Rollers collection of some of our favorite pieces from the website, which you can find via the link that is hopefully in chat right now. Oh. Um, or it's Ooh, on the YouTube video, or it's on the podcast, it's everywhere. Twitter. Uh, Twitter, everywhere. Woo. If you decide to buy any prints, that's any prints. It doesn't have to be from our collection. No. But it, it should. Be but it should be, yeah. Those are really nice. Cool. But they're really good, but it can be anyone. It can. Uh, you can There's use so many. the code High Rollers15 and it gets you 15% off your whole order. Uh, use the code now, get some awesome, easy to use metal prints for your home. And this one is Chris Trot. That was my Trot's. super podcast. This is Chris Trot. This is a Chris Trot this landscape. It's the best selection yet. Mm. It's Look at that. This oh, one. yeah. Whoop. Like a fantasy um, landscape. And just as a reminder, we will Beautiful. be giving away the ones that we are showing on stream. Yes. So we will be starting out a giveaway um, yeah. very soon, actually, with some of the ones that we've seen so far. Mm. So you could be in it with a chance of winning those. In and it to win it. More. In it to more. win it. Yeah, boy. Thank you to both of our sponsors. We Thank love you. So Thank you guys so much. Um, last things last. Things last. <laughs> <laughs> last things last. Nice. Uh, little Ideally. completely self selfish promo. If you want to see some DM prep notes what? and thinking behind episodes of High Rollers, I've got a new show on my personal Twitch channel, which is Sherlock underscore Humes, called Behind the Screen, mm. where I literally go over all the notes, the monster stats, the ideas, discuss the player choices um, from the latest episode of High Rollers. That should be on every Friday, 8 p.m. GMT. The video is going up on Saturday. Yes. That time will vary, though, because I have other stuff I do. So you can see how mean he really is. How mean I'm not. <laughs> oh, also, super quick. Um, low for fee or low fi fi low or fi. L O P H I F Y sent us these little, little, uh, on little uh, Howling Gale little three D prints. So I've got a spiritual weapon that's Howling Gale surrounded by feathers. You can't really see it there, but it's on Twitter. So thank you very much thank for these rich. little low gifts. Low fi low fee. This sits low on my desk fee. every day. Low fi It's great. Low fi. Very with talented. That, I think there's anything else. Anything else needs mention? No. TwitchCon! Oh, yeah. Good Twitch shout, Rhiannon! Johnny. We're going to be at TwitchCon! <laughs> We're at TwitchCon, which is April 13th and 14th. We're doing a live episode of High Rollers at TwitchCon on April 13th, Berlin, Germany. Check out Twitter. Hey. <laughs> it's great. Come to, come to TwitchCon. We're all going to be there. We're all going to be there. Yes. It's going to be great. Whoop. And with that, let's play the Euros intro. Yeah!
Just Hello, me. welcome back <laughs> to Erois, a recap of our story so Maybe. far. Because I imagine a lot of people want us to get straight into it. Mm. 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 Our band of adventurers fought desperately against the Ashbringer cultists within Bright Flame Abbey. A desperate battle against one of the high priests was eventually won, though leaving the party weakened and wounded. As reinforcements arrived, Nova was knocked unconscious while searching for Vala, and in an attempt to save her, Sentry fell and died. The party were captured, taken underground where they found the other faith leaders that they'd been sent to find, as well as a wild elf girl who bore similar powers to Ayla. Before they were taken down into a chamber far below the abbey, a chamber that housed an enormous stone archway gate, a planar portal. Abbotess Aurelia discovered Night Frost and destroyed it with the power of the archway's magic. Before realizing her terrible mistake, as the portal led to an infernal planet, and an arch fiend named Charidus the Ashbringer revealed his corruption and his scheme and dragged the Abbotess away screaming. Charidus made the party an offer. But Valor, still alive, having survived her own trials and tribulations, snuck inside the chamber and with a nod from Lucius, activated the control stone and redirected the portal somewhere else. Somewhere unexpected. We begin as you guys took a long rest on this distant, strange beach of jagged rocks and lapping waves. As you rest and tend to your wounds, the sound of the strange shore lapping against jagged rocks echoes around the empty beach. Memories of the last few hours dance around in your mind. The portal shifting, revealing the long dark corridor with the endless stars on either side. The black obsidian-like throne and the man sat upon it. A man spoken of in legend, depicted in paintings made real. Callus Starbane the enemy of Siaska and Erois standing before you, looking at the young girl you had saved and calling her daughter. Valor's panicked confusion, the fragments of night frost beneath his armored boots. I cannot have you interfere with my plans. His voice echoes and resonates like a deep drum. Ten days to bring back your friend. And if you attempt to stop me, I will kill you. A raised gauntlet crackling with violet, arcane energy. What will you do? Nova's question hangs in the air. What I have to. The sudden shift of the world, the sudden smell of salty air, and the calls of gulls and birds overhead, the lapping of waves, and Sentry's dull, grey, lifeless form laying in the sand. And that's where we begin today's session. Oh, wow, what a recap! Woo-hoo! Oh. It's like half recap. <laughs> part setting scene. I just oh. updated my notes and said things are a bit poop. <laughs> yep, that's an accurate depiction. Okay, here's my notes for episode 26. Holy shit. Yeah, I got oh snap in mine above there. <laughs> like, we're getting really good at taking these notes. Right now. I've got a lot of red ink. Yep. <laughs> yep. A lot of red. Notes. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I test that shit. <laughs> so, you no, are it's... on a beach facing a shore. So we've just arrived at you, I, this is, you've taken a long rest, like, we'll, we'll, I'm not gonna make you guys, unless there's stuff you wanna talk about during your long rest. I imagine that there is at least a few hours of people just not knowing what to do or say, but certainly it's eight hours, you've got plenty of time to try and sleep, to try and catch up. Um, what rations you did have, by the way, like most of the stuff you bought, it probably wouldn't have kept very well because you've been staying in the city. So yeah. rations are gone. Pretty much, yeah. My nine rations! I mean, maybe like if you had that many, I'd say you probably have like enough to kind of scrabble together like three days worth. Okay. I'll My eight that. rations. Cutting all the mold yeah, off. Yeah, if you've got like eight or nine, cut it down to about I've three. I've got one day's worth. So yeah, you're done. done. What about my white fur coat and huge white Stetson? I mean, yeah, you still have those. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Perfect. But you notice that the temperature here is is. Whilst it's still the long night, it's a period of winter, it's warmer here than, than anywhere else. Than, than Savona, when you were in Savona. It's, it's warmer here, more temperate. Uh, Lucius can't even possibly fathom looking at Sentry mm -hmm. in a current state, mm -hmm. so he's just probably sat down in the mm -hmm. sand, yeah. silently trancing to himself. Anybody who does look at Sentry, her, you know, her armor and her clothes are still the same, but her 
eyes, her matrix are just devoid of any color or power. That even things like the vines that were once her hair have begun to wilt and turn brown. Mm. Oh, no. You've got to water her. <laughs> <laughs> Throw into the sea. <laughs> Very good. Viking funeral. <laughs> what you want to do? <laughs> when also, just as an instant, who is carrying this large spherical container? It's like a long tube, like a canister. I guess me, because sure. Talus gave it to yeah, me. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. So you've got it? I've put it on my I've got to carry sentry, yeah. so I'm not going to carry that. <laughs> I so called it a fragment of a star in, metal, in a metal box. Mm -hmm. It's like a long metal tube, like a kind of sci-fi containment tube. Oh, cool. Mm. So you said that when I land, I recognised it as... Home. I think you do. I you think, think I recognise it as Voxar. I mean, at this point, I think, like, during the long rest, I mean, you all hear, like, distant thunder, like, just... Oh. Um, and there is a... The coast is... The tide looks very strong. You're on like a sandy beach, but the beach doesn't go very far before it starts turning into like very sharp cliff faces and rocky kind of bluffs. Um, Would I get a sense of how far away that storm might be? Very far. Not enough right. that your senses have picked it up, but um, yeah. What happens to Echo? That, that either, Echo, Echo must have either la like landed wherever he was, but there is no sign of him. Like, either it wasn't teleported here, or it ceases to be without sentry, or we don't know. Hmm. So I think <clears throat> Nova is going to be sat... Is it, like, night time when we're doing, like, long rest? Yeah. Probably would be very, very early morning, so that, you know, hmm. the sun is just beginning to rise, like, halfway through the long rest. So I think Nova's just going to be sat away from the group, like, mm -hmm. with her back to the group. So never just walk up by herself. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to try and pinpoint where we are and like sure. find a location. Yeah, that would be probably survival. Um, make a survival and a perception check and tell me which one you get on which. Okay, so survival is a 15. Okay. Uh, perception is... Is that with disadvantage? No. Okay, so 19 on perception. Okay. Because you're not in any pressure, like you can turn your head and use your good eye. Um, yeah, it takes you a few hours because you kind of have to, you look at the horizon, you begin mapping things, testing like the wind direction and, and just kind of like trying to get a sense. You maybe have to walk away from the group for a little bit, like up, and you can see that the beach leads up um, onto like a very hilly kind of environment. Mm. Um, and you maybe have to go for a little bit of a walk on your own to get a kind of survey of the land. But you, you're pretty sure by the type of environment that you can see around you, the, the rough location that you're in, the storms, the distant storms, you're certain that you're on Voxar and you are in Mirskir, uh, Mirskir the southern half continent. Crap. And <laughs> you suspect you are on the east coast, um, not too far from the storm wall, because you can see in the distance, you can see the long line of the storm wall, um, your, your home. Um, mm -hmm. in the distance, but it's it's off, it's still days and days of travel away, but you can see it. It's a huge mountain range. Um, would I know of any nearby locations that, I guess, once we have then pick up and... I mean, well, tell me, how much time did Quill spend out of, out of his home? I mean, I guess out of his home, very little, I suppose, mm. but like... Because a lot of the places here, like, this isn't necessarily... You, I mean, you wouldn't, like, looking at maps and books, that you don't like small settlements like villages wouldn't be noted. Mm. Um, I would say that Quill does know that near the edge of the storm wall along the coast, um, so north of your current location, not sure how many days that would be, but north of your current location, there is a city called Katavag, um, which is a large city. Katavag? Yeah. Um, and the reason that you would probably know it is because it does nestle on the border of the storm wall, so the Arakokra sometimes deal with the, the people that live there. Yeah, I think. The time where he was at the Storm War, he would have been very young. So, yeah. like, the other thing you know is that the 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 Valley of Storms will no doubt be to the north, maybe slightly west as well, um, along with the tower where the Arakokra Messenger Guild's rites are performed, where you had to perform your um your test. Mm -hmm. So cool. <laughs> but yeah, the other thing that Quill would know is that traveling along the coast in Mirskir is very dangerous because the storms. Of 
drive the coat like drive the waves the 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 waves are exceptionally strong around the coast um and there's no shelter then mm. it's just open open cliffs and open landscape and you don't want to be here when the storms hit you don't want to be out in the open and i guess i've determined east or west of Voxar as well yeah you're on the you're on the eastern eastern half of of uh, Merskir. okay okay um, i don't want to give you the map because you wouldn't necessarily this map this region is kind of you know, I don't know. Nobody, I know it's. No. I know it's east. I know it's Mirsky. I know it's. Mm -hmm. That that is basically it. How far up the hill did you go? Or did you leave the party much? Uh, I guess He's within like rush sight range. I don't think you would have left completely, right? Like. I mean, I can't go too far. Yeah, like, with busted ribs, ribs yeah. anyway. I guess just. But it's any... just enough for him to like get a lay of the land. Yeah, vantage point. You're kind of not in like a, a bay. You're kind of like in a bay, but it's like a path that like leads up. <laughs> Um, up into the hills, because this area is very hilly, and you would, Quill would know this, that Mirskir is a very hilly region. Um, it's full of valleys and, you know, everywhere else. You should rest, buddy. Uh, well, I'll rest when we've got the next place to go. I mean, we haven't got time. Well, how can I help? What can I do? Um, well, can you see anything over that direction? And I'm pointing north. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exception is 14 passively. Yeah, if you're just looking, you can make a check if you want. Sure. Yeah. I mean, cool. you would also know that there are Natural very one. small paths. <laughs> um, so I think Lucius goes to look north, but Stop by looking up. that direction, you know that you're going to see Sentry, so you're probably like, yeah, I can see anything. I think, you know I think you can see better than me. Ayla's huh? probably going to try and cover Sentry with whatever traveler's clothes are spare to just Do you have sort of spare travel. I have clothes? traveler's clothes in my bag. Okay. Yeah. Um, just to so it's like your just cloak. because she's conscious and mm -hmm. she's aware that people are uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So Ayla kind of drapes this this long cloth over the sentry, um, and you're about the same size. So actually, you know, you pretty much cover her. Maybe her feet are sticking out at the end. Um, yeah, Quill. You know that there are there are small paths, very faint dirt trodden paths that lead you know away from this beach. They lead northwest, um, and you can see the very tail edges of like a forest, like a very swampy looking forest, and a fen uh, to the far west as mm. well. Um, well, good news. Uh, I know this place more than I know Savona. Uh, bad news, we're south of the Stormwall, in a place called Mirskir, um, and it's filled with storms uh, and danger and natural trouble. I'll put it that way. Um, how do you do this? How do I do what? This moving forward. How do you just start doing new things and start planning the next steps? Well, how does I, it not all get to you? It does get to me, but we have... We're on a time limit here. We have to move. If we don't move, then there's less chance that we can get Sentry back. You're right, it's just... It's not a little overwhelmed. Where's Nova? Yeah, you three look around and she's not nearby. Maybe just off in the distance, tucked against the edges of the beach, next to the cliff walls, back towards you. Just a little blue shape. I think we need to come together as a group, maybe, and make sure we're all ready to move forward like you two are. You're a bit more hardy than perhaps me and Nova. I didn't say that, but... At least I'm emotionally. If you need a moment, I can try and get us some food while you wait. Well, I, I suppose we could, could start moving, couldn't we, and find food towards whatever you've spotted, Quill. Well, I, I'd like to not be near Sentry right now, if that's okay. That's fine. I'm not dealt with that. Uh, personal people very close to me passing before. She hasn't passed. Oh, no, no, you're right. Yet. Yes, we've got time. <laughs> it just really looks like it, doesn't it? That's how I move ahead. I don't think like that. We've got time. And I kind of know where I am. We just need to find the next place. And if there's no one there, we'll find the next place, and the place after that. And then we might have run out of time. But in one of those places, <laughs> there has to be someone, right? Where's the best direction to travel? 
So I'd say for you, Quill, it's a tricky one. You know that there is a big city to the north, but you can't see it. You don't know how far mm. that might be. It might be days. You also know that traveling on the coast is very hard. And it's prone to monsters, sea monsters, all sorts of bad stuff. Generally, the advice that you overheard in the Stormwall for traveling in Mirskir is most of the settlements, <laughs> generally, but if you do have to, most of the settlements are built into hills and you know they're dug into the earth. Um, so trying to get into like valleys where you're protected from the wind uh, is normally helpful. Mm. Um, and then there will be trade roads and they'll be faster to travel. Um, there are beasts of burden and wagons, which can you know mean that you can travel even if the storm is bad. Um, yeah. Okay. But the other one, but again, that might mean adding a couple of days of travel. You know, you it's hard to tell. Like, you know, getting to the North City might take four or five days. A bit slower with your injuries and carrying sentry. Um, going via the other cities might be safer. Okay. But it might take more time. And it's do I know how say. big this city is? Katuvag is a pretty big city. It's probably smaller than Gold Throne, but certainly bigger than Kaylee's Rest. Hmm. Um, but there are other settlements. There, are, You know that there are villages, towns here. People live here, hmm. but out in the sticks, they're kind of just like little local places, but they're safe. Um, the people here are very hardy. They have to weather these storms all the time. Mm. It's a good time, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think that there's probably another peal of thunder. Oh, okay. That rattles down. Well, inland close, yeah. is, is, is storms, is danger that I don't want to face. I certainly don't want to go towards that. You might, but I don't. <laughs> um, we and... need to find somewhere that's big enough that's going to have someone able to bring Sentry back. Well, that would probably mean traveling down the coast. And that's uh, probably as good an idea as going inland. I'll be honest, where we are, not very safe. Um, I wish Callus kind of dropped us somewhere a little bit nicer. Maybe Honestly, <laughs> when have we ever been safe so far since we've met each other? As soon as we met each other, we crashed out of the sky on a ship. It's kind of not new. I think we can do it. We just need to stick together and Get on with things. We need to keep moving, otherwise our chance of bringing her back is just getting small. Okay. I mean, even while carrying her, I think you'll still be faster than me. Um, That's the thing. We've got to carry sentry. You're injured. We need to get you seen to. Is there anywhere? Yeah, there'd probably be like local healers would normally be able. Like there are smaller towns where getting you know broken limbs is is possible. The quicker we can get you fixed the quicker we can move. True. Yeah. I think that like, yeah, probably the whatever path you saw that leads northwest is probably used by like fishermen. Okay. So that would probably lead to at least a village or something. Just by natural being, you know, you know your stuff about navigating and traveling, so. While they're chaining, yeah. I'll turn around yeah. and just go over. Go to see Nova. Nova. Yeah, sure. Yeah. What, does, what, does see, what does Lucia see Nova when he comes over? Um, so we probably see that I'm kind of hunched over in the sand, um, and oh, like, so if you're coming from behind me, you'll see over my shoulder, all my books have been dumped in the sand. I presume we're in a sandy place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a beach, um, yeah. it's like a little cove. So all my, yeah, all my books have just been dumped in the sand, and my eyes are just red, like, just with crying. Um, Neva, I think it's time we start making a move. Oh, hey, Lucius. Hello. How, how are you doing? You haven't spent this whole time reading, have you? Reading? No. No. I mean, what's the point of reading, eh? Oh, no. Now you're starting to talk like me. That doesn't sound right at all. What do you mean? Well, I just got to thinking, and like, I spent my whole life reading, and I always believed that learning stuff was good, right? And, you know, gaining knowledge about things made you less scared about the world, and I had this whole grand vision of coming out and learning more about the world and the people in it, and um, it turns out it's kind of useless. 
Oh, don't say that, Nova. Yeah, but I don't know how to protect myself. The last few weeks have been awful. You know, almost died in the woods. <laughs> almost died in the city. Almost died in the cathedral. And um, I know all these things. And I know these spells. And um, they're useless. Uh, I got Sentry killed. No, don't say that. No, she died because I couldn't protect myself and I couldn't fight. And she died standing over me, trying to protect me because I couldn't do anything. So what's the point in knowing all of these things, knowing the stars above, knowing how coastal drift works, reading a book on how to survive in a wood. And I got my friend killed. And the thing is, she's a guardian. And not only is she a guardian, she is a guardian who was created to defend royalty. And I'm just a really stupid Aragonassi. From nowhere. I'll plod down in the sand mm -hmm. and throw an arm around Nova. Just give you, just, just take a moment. Have a breath. Because I'm probably the worst person that could have walked over right now, considering I just had a very similar moment <laughs> in which I thought no one could how could we go on? This is silly. Look, look at what we've been through. It's, it's literally the worst time of my life. Yeah. And we're lucky to be alive at all. Poor well, Sentry. I'm alive because of her. We're alive because of her. That's exactly what she was built to do. She protected right to the end. And guess what? She succeeded because we're alive. So I think we owe it to her to utilize our lives in the best way possible our knowledge of what you've learned in your bookies, and you have done incredible things with that knowledge so far, which I think has saved us. I've done nothing. I've gotten us killed almost so many times. I promised Nightfrost I would help him. Can you imagine how dumb that sounds? Yes, now, I dumb. said to an ancient being from this space race that I would help him, and he's dead. I mean, yes. Uh... And I couldn't help him, but I stupidly believed I could because I read books. Well, you know what? Yes, it's all really shit. And I excuse the word, it's really awful, but it is really <laughs> shit, isn't it? It's shit, say it. It feels good. It's shit. It's really shit. But you know what? This is rock bottom. This is, I hate sand anyway, it's coarse. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look to your left. <laughs> and it gets between your toes. It's awful. But we, we need to get off this beach. And we need to save Sentry. Our emotions be damned. We have a mission. And we owe it to Sentry to do something about it. We can't wallow anymore. As Lucia says that, you feel that sense from Tiangong, a motive sense of agreement Once when Lucia says it. And a sense of strength, and a sense oh. of, you know, confidence. <laughs> also, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Tian Gong's agreeing with you right now, but I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't think I can do what I said I would do for Tian Gong. I don't. Obviously, I'll help. I'll help do everything I can with Sentry, but afterwards, I. I don't know anymore. I think I need to go home and um, rethink everything. And then at this, I'm going to pick up my book of ancient seek, uh, book of shadows. Mm -hmm. And to start with, I need to get my head out of the books. And I'm going to turn to a page and rip it out. Mm -hmm. And it's the page that had all the rituals on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You watch as the the magic bound there by Tiangong as the pages are ripped free it just and the letters just turn to dust and on the sea's breeze oh, hold out it was pointless it was just pointless <coughs> cool. I tear out a page go ahead and I'm just gonna dump all my books and just walk away okay yeah, just these books 
and then Lucius. Let's write some better ones, shall we? Call out as Nova is walking away. Uh, call in anything? I guess we're. Can we see that much. Lucius is ripping pages out of the book? Well, you see, yeah, you probably look over and see Nova do it first, and then she walks away, and Lucius is stood there with a the book, and then he rips out a page and rips out another page. And, and all the rest of my books are just left. Just left on the ground. I'm going to just keep doing stuff because if I sit down, then I don't want this to happen to me. So I'm just going to keep going, okay? So I'm just going to go have a look down the beach, see what's, see what's that way. Right. Uh, Hello. Do some, uh, some, some stuff uh, I was away kind of, from... I mean, uh, don't leave me alone with this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Uh, I, I can't... I'm, I'm on... Tender hooks as it is. Yep. <laughs> yep. I could fish. I could I could get us some, some food. We could maybe food? I yeah? Mean, we probably we the uh, Ayla? Are you okay? I don't know. This has never happened before. So I don't really know what to do. What's so, never happened before? I don't know, like I I've seen death and everything, but this time it kind of feels a bit different and these two are not helping that. They're making it feel weird as well. And I don't really know what to do or what I'm feeling right now. So rather than work that out, I'm just gonna keep doing other things that progress towards getting getting this one back. Mm -hmm. That's my plan. Okay, I mean, yeah. that's good, mm -hmm. good. Yep. I'm glad we're on the same page. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I think uh, on the same He's page is when Nova out. like probably is in like walks over. Triggered again. <laughs> Turns back around. Hmm. So well, what's the plan, Tim? Which direction do you think we should go in, Quill? Because honestly, whichever way we go, we we just have to find somewhere. The first settlement that we find, we can try and get you fixed. Is that a good plan? I mean, I don't feel like I'm the priority. Um, if we go along but, the coast, as dangerous as that may be, we'll get to the town quicker. If we go inland, we're going into a storm and potentially we're not even gonna find. The storms village. come to the coast. Like, oh. there is no way you can go you where you like won't have to deal with the storms. <laughs> wow. That is something Quill would know. Inland then. <laughs> I mean, well, no, I mean, the coast is still a viable option. You're right, it will probably be way faster. But Huge. just the idea of like, oh, okay. we'd be going into the storm. No, the storm comes to you. Fine. The storm goes everywhere. Is, if we it's were... random. It's kind of like you never can predict the storms here. Right if then. we were to travel along the coast, are there places near oh, the Ayla's coast a survivalist. Can... You know yeah. stuff. So, is yeah. there a place near enough the coast that if we, when we see a storm coming, we could make our way towards a more sheltered area not for a few days no. travel okay. not for a so while so we need to either go in inland now or well i saw some paths nearby if we follow them there must be people that we can talk to figure something out with them locals they'll know right or kill us uh, but yeah sure i mean that's fine we can we can hit them back sure whack them whack them yeah before they whack us yes so who's um I will take care of it. Okay. <laughs> Shall we go? Is everyone here and present and ready and continuing? And hello. Ha ha we go should we let's Everything's shit, but we gotta go. So come on, if you guys go, I'll take care of this. Just go ahead so you don't have to watch. It's fine. I'll follow behind you. Someone will need to help Quill a little bit. He's struggling. I'll help you, Quill. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want if, to ask. So, <clears throat> we're not going to make checks like every six seconds yeah. when you're traveling. But if Lucius has literally got like, you know, he's taking the weight off you having to move, it's painful walking a long distance. Okay. But you can do it. However, with carrying Quill, with carrying Sentry, your overland travel is halved. Um, if a storm hits, it will be halved again. 
So moving mm. in the storms is very hard and it's dangerous if there's no cover. Uh, you begin following the paths and the landscape here is, for those of you, I think especially for, um, for Nova, for Lucius, Ayla, I think you've traveled a little bit, so maybe it's not so alien, but certainly for Lucius and, and Nova, the landscape here is very strange. Um, whenever you see, there's a lot of, it's very hilly with rocks protruding from the ground, but the rocks are jagged, they're not smooth. They're jagged and rough with sharp edges. When you spot trees, they're pretty much always hidden behind a, the leeway side of a hill. Um, sheltered from the wind, but their boughs are like willow trees, long, drooping, flexible arms. Uh, their leaves are more akin to fir trees than anything else, these like tough, you know, survivable plants. Um, quill the grass beneath your feet. Mm -hmm. It's very coarse. This isn't soft grass, it's extremely tough. Um, walking on it in barefoot is is uncomfortable at best. I mean, for you, you've got claws, it doesn't matter, but anybody who wasn't wearing boots, this would be quite uncomfortable to walk on. Um, it's, it's extremely rough, rugged landscape. As you begin making your way inland, the sounds of the sea, the lapid waves begin drifting behind you, become quiet as the sun is now fully risen and you make your way across the landscape. You don't see another soul for what feels like hours. Um, and as you begin making your way, the paths become a little bit more well-trodden. Well mm -hmm. And you approach the very edges of a mire or a fen. Um, you can see that, that where the hills that you've been traveling alongside, looking up as they slope down, rainwater or whatever has, has converged and, and the edges of a very large, thick forest has turned into a, a mire. Um, boggy, peaty, moss ground, spongy. Uh, soaks in water, large pools dot from here to there. Thirsty trees with these long drooping boughs scattered around. Um, and then you can see the beginnings of a swamp, a thick forested swamp begin to emerge. And as you're approaching, you begin to hear sounds. You're the first one to pick up on it, Quill, but it doesn't take Ayla very long to pick up on it either. You can hear the sounds of some sort of battle um, some sort of fighting. You can hear a person crying out, um, pained or in, in danger. Um, and you can hear the sounds of like reptiles, like a kind of hissing. <sighs> um, oh. And it's coming from just beyond like a small ridge, like a hilled valley. Um, Lucius, over that hill, there's someone, I think they're in danger. What? Someone's in trouble. I can hear fighting and sl slithering. Slithering. Well, There's some kind of lizardy kind of sound, definitely. Yeah. So if you want to drop me, <laughs> that would be the time. I'll let you go. <laughs> Gently. Yeah. Thank you. Um, does anyone what, want what? to see what that is before we carry on? Can I place sentry really gently in mm -hmm. a safe area? Yeah. And then, like, try and... Yeah, I mean, you're at the top, so you can hear this is coming down from below you towards the mire in the swamp. Yeah. I um, mean, you're currently up on, like, a hilled path. So you could like just crawl up and then peek over basically. Yep. Yeah, stealth check. Natural 20. Ooh, nice. 20. So Ayla kind of drops to the ground, crawls away. Peering down, you can see the edge of this fen. Um, you can see what appears to be a group of tall bipedal lizards with shelled shields, um, axes made from bones and rough cut metal. Uh, they, some of them appear to be riding crocodiles, um, these large reptiles with long claws and snapping jaws, but their scales are a deep blue and white, um, and you can see the occasional kind of crackle of lightning around their jaws. And they appear to be surrounding a... Well, why don't you describe what they see? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! So uh, she is a half-orc um, dressed in, like, very real looking sort of emerald green seafaring clothes with a massive like pirate hat <laughs> uh, sort of trimmed with gold it sort of glimmers um she's got a uh, a very fearsome looking rapier and she's trying her best to fend off these scaly lizard folk cool yeah very how cool. many lizard folk so I think that there is so there's three lizard men with weapons um but there is another one who is more 
shamanistic. You can see like necklaces of bones and he's clutching this kind of pale yellowed skinned lizard man with a gnarled staff. And he's the one that's kind of like talking to this other figure. Um, and they're snapping, the, the lizards are snapping their jaws and they're surrounding her. There's these four of them and then the four. Are they actually also. actively fighting her? Are they I mean, it looks like, her? no, it looks like they're, they're they're, actually... they mean to, I mean, it's hard to tell, right? Reading their body language, they look like a hunting party. Like that's the best thing that I think Ayla would attribute to them yeah. is like, this is a bunch of hunters who have caught their prey. Um, okay. From this distance, you can't really hear much more than just like shouts of, you know, clear off and stuff like that, I imagine, kind of yeah. like back off. Um, and yeah, you see this kind of happening down below you. Um, and yeah, and unfortunately at this point, you don't you don't spot the potential help, no. but uh, yeah, well I think, why don't I get a map and then we can show where people are. Yeah. Oh damn. Oh. A map. I will relay that information. <laughs> you, yeah, that. You're getting a map. Oh. Whoa. So can somebody move those figurines? Nice. Oh damn. And then, so you guys are all currently like up here. On the hill, and I guess I'm on the... Oh, are we all at the top of the hill? I'm just gonna take Satria for now. Yes, well you guys are all basically up on the verge and then Ayla's kind of made her way and is peeking over. I see. Um, I've also just realized I don't actually have a figure for poor old half-orc. Okay. Um, so, do you want to just use this lady for now? Yeah, we well, all need some tropical trees now. Yeah, I also don't have the crocodiles they're riding on, but assume that they are basically mounted on these kind of like larger crocodiles. Okay. Oh, lovely. Nice. Kind of like this, and then you're pretty much bang in the middle there. Stop. Bang in the middle. All four of them are mounting them. Yes, they're riding them. Oh, oh boy. That's bad. Oh, that's, that's the real. worst thing to mount. That's real bad. <laughs> 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 all my plain paper. That's there. So, uh, so yeah, so you see this scene before you, um, and yeah. Cool. The okay. female on this guy looks cool. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's so that one is the the shamanistic oh, looking one, and then the three hobgoblins because okay. I don't have lizard men miniatures represent the other guys. Mm. I should have asked me. Got loads. <laughs> potentially, <laughs> we'll probably uh, need some more yeah. for the few, next few sessions potentially. <laughs> Um, and you can see that in the in the in the swamps there are like vague looks of a ruin, like half of a building, some old walls. Um, it's a thick swamp. It, you know, it starts off as a fen, this kind of you know boggy terrain, and then it just goes into full swamp. Um, mm. Yeah. So yeah, I guess at this point, I guess we can roll an initiative for you, and we'll see if they let your your what they do to help your new character. If, Not uh, 20. Wow. <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> I didn't think you last week. <laughs> That's a good first roll. The new character. It's been two rolls. Yeah. Oh, shit. Two, two nat 20s. 20s. Oh, no, I had a good start. Anyway. And then. Uh, lizards. I got high hopes. Shaman. Crocs. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll do it. Okay. Okay. So let me roll up for some of my dudes. Um, while you guys do the same. I mean, you're just charging what? him, right? What? You're charging him, right? Well, I've given you this information. Oh, uh, okay. So, mm -hmm. local might be able to help us. I mean... Can you fight? So, Ayla, initiative. Oh, shoot. Um, Don't forget you took a long rest. So 19. 19. Quill? Uh, oh. Uh, 19. No, 21. Ooh. Okay, Nova? 16. Lucius? 7. And then for now, Mysterious Half-Orc. Mm -hmm. 23. 23. So, at this point, yeah, these, these lizard folk, and for your benefit, Rhiannon, mm -hmm. you know, you've come into the, into the fens, into the, the Witchmoor, uh, because the locals have asked you to investigate it. There's been a lot of uh, attacks on sort of like some of the outlying um, farms. One of the windmills was destroyed and they think it's the lizard men, but they've asked you to kind of just patrol uh, and just see what was going on. Um, when you came here, you saw these ruins, which you've not explored too much of the area, um, but when you started investigating it, you started seeing some uh, strange carvings and things like that. And as you were interested in the ruins, you're kind of like checking them out. You hear these four lizard folk on their storm scales basically arrive 
Um, you managed to try and run, but two, like, two more of them appeared and have now cut you off, and you're now being surrounded by these four here. Um, you've dealt with the, the lizard folk before. You know that there are different tribes. Mm -hmm. You don't really know which ones are which, um, and they're speaking to you. Do you speak Draconic? No, I Then do not. you have no idea what they're saying. No, they're just like I, barking oh. like, Vasma, da, da, and they're kind of like barking at you. So, yeah, what do you want to do? Like at this point, they've not made to attack you, but they're not letting you get away. Okay. And they're surrounding you. Um, um, can I try and maybe back off a bit and try yeah, and just give myself some space? Yeah, so any, anything with blue is like thick, boggy water, so it counts as difficult terrain. Okay. So it's basically like double movement to get out of it, basically. All right, I've got 30 feet. Yeah, so, so the, like... both of those, if two water squares would be 20 feet, so then you'd have 10 feet more movement, basically. Okay, so I can move maybe like here. Maybe like, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Cool. So you begin backing your way up towards like this hill, which leads up onto the thing. Yeah, um, yeah just give me a perception check, just to, we'll see if you spot Ayla. That one. That one. Yep. Nope. It's Definitely too focused on the fight. You. So yeah. basically, it's the best of both worlds. So you have your back to this hill, and you know that if you turn and try and climb up it, they're probably going to jump on you. And they, as they see you backing off, they're kind of moving up towards you, and okay. you're not quite sure what's going to happen. Is there anything else you want to do? Um, no, I think that'll be it for now. I'll okay. see. Yeah. See what goes on. Okay. See what they do. Okay. Well, it's actually Quill. Um. Are we? Are we helping? I think we should. Uh, okay, I'm gonna roll to see if I can move forwards. <laughs> um, 15 plus. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna stumble over to this rock right yeah. behind Ayla. And I, can so I you see? try if you're not trying to move stealthy, because that would half your movement. I mean, I'm moving slowly. Moving slowly. Okay, that's still not as stealthy. much as I can yeah, move sure. with a. Uh, so I think. What's your passive perception? 15. 15. You definitely hear like a scrape of a, a stone and I think the shaman kind of looks up as well and you see kind of like just the feathery like top of this bird man's quill <laughs> from above like a thing. And you'd recognize an Arakokra's quill, like a uh, like, little feathery yeah. head. <laughs> um, but you see it kind of poking up okay. um, and you know that somebody's up there, you just don't know how many and, and what they are. Okay. Um, but yeah, quill, carry on. Um, I'm going to do a bane. Oh, uh, cool. Level one on all of them. Okay, well, you can pick how many creatures? Uh, oh, sorry, three. So I'll so, do it to the three tougher looking ones, I guess, not the shaman one. Um, and you want to cast it on the lizard men, not the, the mounts. Oh. These on crocodiles. Yeah. Oh, there's eight enemies. <laughs> I'll do it on the... Yeah, I don't have the miniatures. Well, I do, but I don't want to freak... Like, I have the miniatures, but they're not, like, proper mount miniatures. So. Do I know anything about them? In fact, actually, they do have larger bases, so let's put these... They've got lots of teeth. <laughs> do this thing called a death roll. Beyond, so beyond what I... They're riding on these guys. <laughs> I don't have the right miniatures Aww. for it, That's right? a dragon. Aww. Yeah, but that's just that's the miniature I have, okay? Um... <laughs> this is a very... <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Grab that. Uh, little... Look, <laughs> just imagine they're big, stormy yeah. crocodiles, okay? Wait, right. Use your right. imaginations, guys. That guy's gone. <laughs> that guy's gone, yeah. That guy's gone. Oh, he's, um, he's yeah. on him. Yeah, they're all on the thing, so... Do I know anything about, oh, about these yes. lizard folk? Uh, you can make a nature check for me, if you want to use that as a bonus action. I'll do that, sure. 13 plus nature... Uh, 14. 14. You have heard of lizard folk. Um, they tend to live in swamps uh, oh. and you know places where there is a lot of vegetation and water. Um, That's it. They are <laughs> they're savage, as far as you know. Like they have very primitive cultures. Um, nobody really knows where they came from. They didn't appear until after the Sundering. Oh. So they are not native to Erois in whatever form, um, but they now make their home in the swamps. Some people, a lot of people, think that they were brought with the evil dragons that Callus brought. Um, uh, so okay. Because they look similar. Racist. Basically. I mean, they look mean. I'm going to cast Bane on... Sure. Uh, the three riders. The three white riders? They've got weapons, haven't they? Yes, yes they have. Um, so they all have these kind of turtle shell shields and then these battle axes, these like bone battle axes. All right. the battle axe boys, they're getting Baned. Okay, so charisma Bane safe. boys, yes. It's a minus two for all of them. <laughs> that's one minus two, that's a minus one. That's a 12. That fails. And then a, a one. That so fails. all of them are currently Bane. So what does nice. this look like from Quill? Uh, I think what I did last time was that it was 
like a shimmering sort of field in front of their eyes that sort of distracts their vision. Okay. And so nothing actually appears, but to them it's like feathers are flying everywhere yeah, and you yeah. can't really see anything. Like okay. gusts of wind and sure. stuff in their eyes. Yeah. So you hear like, and the shaman kind of turns to them, like looking at them like, what? Uh, and then he kind of looks up. He's like, ah, basma, basma. Oh, cool. Uh, <laughs> anything else you'd like to do, Crawl? So that was your action bonus action move. I think you've pretty much yeah, done, I've done everything. everything. Um, Ayla. Don't move it anymore, I'll die. <laughs> uh, don't say it. So the hill is steep enough that you would have to like kind of slide down it. It's like a scree, uh, like loose. Okay. Scree slope. Yeah, it's a scree slope. Scree slope. <laughs> Yay! Can I scree down to scree scroll? <laughs> you can scree down the scree scroll. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So it's, uh, yeah, basically, so it takes about 10 feet of your movement to get down. And I'll just land beside her and go, hey, need some help? So this wild elf just lands beside you. Oh, with a giant hammer. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> um, and then, I, wait, how much for that? 10 feet? That was say? 10 feet, so you've got however much movement yeah. left. Oh, actually, I have more movement now, yay! Um, Okay, I'm gonna just go up bonus and action uh, bonus action rage and Ooh. smack him twice because yeah. so I got any, two any now. Any blue terrain is difficult terrain unless sure. you're like. I think I still have four, I have 45 feet. Yeah, you've got loads. So yeah, good. absolutely. Uh, now you get to whack twice. Hopefully. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 21. And again, are you trying to hit the rider the or the mount? Rider. Okay. 21. Yeah, that's a hit. Oh no, that wasn't so good. They don't appear to be wearing armor, but their scales are tough. Eleven for the second one. Eleven to hit yeah. is not enough. No, okay. he brings up this turtle shell shield like Zaspara Elf. Gesundheit. Gesundheit. So for ten damage with the hammer, can you make a dexterity saving? This hammer like through? smashes into him. And he is nearly thrown off the mount itself. He manages to recover. Um, like, it just grabs onto this reins and he's like, ah! Uh, dexterity save is a 15. That passes. So Damn it! Off. So he takes two then. Two? Yeah. Cool. And that's to the rider, yeah? Yes, yes, please. So you smack in this lightning kind of skirts around. And as the lightning hits, the shaman like looks over towards you like, Tassafara! Storm! Katakas! <laughs> Gesundheit, again, I don't know what you're saying to me right now. Elf Nova. Storm. So I can speak Draconic, mm -hmm. can I hear what they're saying? If you get closer, yeah. Okay, can I move a little closer, please? Where do you want to move to? Um, if you're up on the hill, you can't hear them. Okay, but what if I'm like, kind of where Quill is? Yeah, you want to move right next to Quill? That's, That's me. not me. That's not you. Okay. I mean, this is like vague positioning. Yeah, you can move Like, there. can I, and then can I hear them from there? Make a perception check. You come down from the hill, sure. Why'd you say that, Mark? I'll oh, take okay. <laughs> Seven. Yeah, it's fine. You can hear him. Okay. Um, maybe not for what they've said up until now, mm -hmm. but now now that you're here, you can hear them. And then they say anything like not like since you've arrived here. You probably catch you probably catch like the vague thing that he was just yelling at uh, Ayla, which is. Uh, this one is of the storm. Be careful. So yeah, hearing, bitch. Hearing you say, I don't understand. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, he's saying that you have storm powers, and to be careful of you, I agree. I turn to him and go, no shit. That's I it. translate. He, oh, you just shout out your shit in Draconic. <laughs> no, no shit. Like oh, no he was shit. being no really shit. old. Yeah. Okay. Like looks confused for a second. Anything else? Um. So I've thrown away my spell book. Yeah. Well, you've thrown away your ritual spell book. Mm. Well, I tore the ritual pages out. Yeah. And then left it with Lucius. Yeah, so you Lucius. can't use your rituals. Yeah. Okay. But you can spells use, Yeah, your normal spells, are, they, they come from Tian Gong. Yeah. Tian Gong just taught you how to make the ritual book. <clears throat> what would she do? What would she do? She's feeling kind of horrible at the moment. Don't do anything. Then. I will... I'm just going to out. Eldritch Blast. Okay, sure. You get um, two beams now. Yeah. Oh, oh damn. Can I double beam? Um, who's the nearest? Uh, well, the rider is the one that Ayla's fighting. The, yeah, can I? The one with on the eel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on the crocodile. Eel dude. Yeah. Eel's up inside you. <laughs> inside your bum. <laughs> yeah, nice. sure. Absolutely. Um, okay, so. 
17 plus 7 is lots. 24 to hit. Yeah, yes. lots. <laughs> um, and then just, do you want to roll, roll a second again. attack and then you can just roll two damage? Uh, eight plus seven is 15. It just hits him. Wow. He goes to throw himself out of the way, but inside the stirrups of this large crocodile, can't quite m move out of the way. Oh, they gave him a saddle. One is nine and one is four. So 13. Yeah. That is enough that the first beam strikes him, tearing the shield out of his hand. As he goes, he no longer has it to block, so the second blast catches this lizard man in the chest, leaving a scoring eldritch hole. And then he just slumps off, slides off, and the beast now kind of. What did he say as he died? Uh, may I go to the ancestors? You don't need to translate. It's all what? good. Okay. It's all good. You were just constantly yelling because the the Gesundheit. large <laughs> stormy crocodile, uh, because it's the only one in range, and they this one's dead. Huh? That rider is dead. Rider right. is dead. Crocodile, however, crocodile is going to try and is. chomp, chomp, chomp on uh, on Ayla for a 19. That'll hit. hit. So we're going to take uh, 12 chompy damages. So it six. Wraps its like damage. Six to half. And it, it grabs you in its jaws, and you're currently grappled um, as long as um, it's got you. But you can escape on your turn. Okay. Um, and it's just like, ah! And it's trying to throw you around, and Ayla's in its mouth. Um, as it tries to do so. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, ow. Lucius. I run up to Quill. Huh, huh. Should we really be interfering with the natural order of things? This is not the natural order. She's going to die. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to throw acid splash. Okay. Past Ayla onto the crocodile, because that's the only thing that's currently The one that's attacking. grappling me. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I will tell you, because I'm a nice DM, if you target one of the riders, then technically the crocodile's within five feet because Acid Splash can hit two targets. Mm. So you could get one of the ones that hasn't been oh, damaged okay. yet. I will do that. 12 plus 6 is 18. Does that hit? Mark. Uh, is it a ranged attack roll or is it a saving throw? Yep, deck saving throw. I was looking at Firebolt. <laughs> So deck saving through from both of them. So for the lizard man, that's two. For the crocodile, that's five. So nice. they are both hit. Thanks, so. With a six acid damage. Yep. To both of them. And then dichromancy of uh, is not. Um, this is cantrip. Yeah. yeah. You caught it. You caught it, mate. You caught it. Do they look resistant to that? Um, no, actually. They burnt them. It did, yeah. You watch as the acid splashes over their body, burning away at some of their scales. Um, I'm helping. You are helping. Good job. So you watch as Lucius, anything else you want to do on your turn? You just throw the acid splash down. It's, ah, it kind of burns away. Yeah, that's what I kind of do. That's what you want to do? Okay. Uh, so after Lucius, it is the lizard man. Um, so since in their companions, uh, this is the one with the guy on it. This is going to move up here, and then this one goes after their initial prey. Uh oh. As they try and surround now, the shaman's barking orders. They kind of hitch the, you know, squeeze their powerful lizardy thighs, and the crocodiles rush forward. And then they try and take swings with their, their battle axes and their spiked shields. Um, so against Ayla, uh, he's going to get two attacks. This is with the battle axe. That's a nine to hit. Nope. And then with the spike shield, that's a five to hit. So you just defend both of these blows as this one rushes towards you. Mysterious half walk, the same thing to you. Uh -huh. That is an 18 to hit. That hits. Um, so I'll do this first. So that is going to be do, 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 nine points of piercing damage. Four beams. And then the cro oh man, the spike shield, that's a 23 to hit. Yep. Um, but that is only five points of damage. Nice. So it kind of like hits you with the axe and then slams you with this spike shield. And you kind of throw yourself back, trying to bring up your arms to defend oh yourself. No. Um, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Whatever. The shaman. This is nothing. The shaman. He moves over here and then he begins. Uh, Moving his arms. Asvarath Morekta Serpents. And as he clutches his fist, I'm just going to do a swap out here. Enunciates with common tongue. 
Hearing next to Lucius. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Writhing, enormous snake. That was the one that had me in his huge in his beast. I just swap. You've got a oh, face okay. next. To you. I've summoned. Sorry, he's you summoned the another monster. I got confubbed. He, confubbed. And he's, you can see him like um, holding the staff out as this spectral snake. Emerges. But it's a huge snake. Where? Oh! Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, no! Where'd that one come from? Mysterious half orc. Cool. I would like to use hunter's sense, please. Mm-hmm. Tell me um, what that does. So as an action, choose one creature you can see within 60 feet and you immediately learn whether these creatures have any damage immunities, resistances or vulnerabilities, what they are. Okay, and what would you like to use that on? I would like to use it on the dude right here. The actual man or the mount? The man. Okay. These are what strange are man or mount? Me. The lizard folk, um, they do not have any resistances, they do not have any vulnerabilities. What was the other thing? Uh, blah, 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 blah. And what they are if the creature is not hidden from divination magic. Okay, they're just a humanoid. They are lizard humanoid folk. Humanoid things. Yeah, but they don't have any resistances, resistances. they are, do not have any vulnerabilities. Okay, dokie. And then as a bonus action, yeah. I would like to designate the uh, the rider mm -hmm. of the lizard man as my slayer's prey, please. Okay, cool. What? Ooh. Yeah. Keep that in mind. We'll do. Do that for next time. But that's it's just your action to use yep. the person. And it's bonus okay. action, yeah. What? Bonus action, perfect. What okay. Kept? Quill. Um. Okay, so do I know that the um, shamanistic guy brought this snaky thing sure. next to me? Yeah. So is the shaman still down on the ground, or has he's he turned there. into? No, no he's, he's on riding. On, he's on the back of the the storm scale here, but he's like holding a staff and he's got a clawed hand pointing up. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I will. Uh, it, it does. Does um, half orc look damaged? And you just see her get like hit with a battle axe and then bashed in like the face. Like mega damage even prior to the fight. No, she didn't take any damage prior to the fight. She was just caught off guard. Okay. Uh, Out of my death, as they would say. <laughs> right. Mm. I can't wait for this so you can actually just chat to them. <laughs> uh, I will do a Shield of Faith, a bonus action, mm -hmm. on Ayla. Okay. Um, so you have plus two AC. Cool. That's bonus action. So and you can cantrip now. Can, I, can you do two bonus actions? No. Okay. Um, in that case, I will Sacred Flame, Shaman Guy. Okay. What do I have um, to do? He has to make a dexterity save. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> 2d6 now, or 2d8 now. Whoa! Four damage. What? <laughs> 2d8. Okay. Yeah. He does still have to make a concentration check, which I actually think he fails. <laughs> Because it's seven plus one is eight. DC was ten. Wow. Uh, so the snake dispiss. <laughs> but the snake went away. It's the shaman over there. It went guy. invisible. No, it's gone. Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> well, that was a cool spell. That's gone. <laughs> That's gone. Anything else cool? Burst with a cantrip. That's all I got. I'm not moving. I will die. Uh, Ayla. <laughs> okay, can I try and get out of this thing's grip? Yes, yes. Uh, so you make an athletics check. You have an advantage because you're currently raging. True. Does a shield of faith help with that sort of thing? Oh my god, I rolled terribly twice. Wait, uh, athletics? Yeah. Um, no, 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 no. 16. She's still enough. Ooh. You just prize this thing's jaws open and shove it back. No. Get the fuck out of me. Can I hit it? <laughs> Can I yeah. hit it? Yeah, you want to hit the actual it? crocodile, yeah? Uh, yeah. Okay. Fuck it. No, this is croc A. Oh. So, eight. Okay. 15 to hit? Yeah, 15 hits. Um, and. 13 to hit. Hits. Ooh, cool. Both hit. Um. It also failed its deck save. So that is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 damage with the hammer. Mm -hmm. And 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 damage with the hammer. So, you, so, so 16 it, plus 13. Hang on, <laughs> 16 hit plus wait, 13? Wait. How much did I was you hitting roll? him twice. Yeah. So two hits. Two. Yeah. How much yeah. did you do on one hit? How did you do I rolled. A, I rolled a ten. Yeah, on then my. You get plus six. You rolled a ten. And then I get plus six. And then you get plus six. That's fucking crazy. Okay. So sixteen plus thirteen. Now roll your lightning damage, because it failed its deck save. <laughs> Three. So. That's a lot of damage. That is a total of thirty-two damage. Nice. Which wow. annihilates what? this thing. <laughs> you just bring the hammer down onto its head, <laughs> and it just 
it just turns to jelly. Uh, it just splashes into the water. You're soaked in this kind of stagnant bog water. It just washes over you, and you just turn on the next one. <laughs> nice. And the you hear the shaman like, ah! <laughs> like look over, <laughs> like fuck. Um, in the draconic, there is a like, by the dragon's blood, <laughs> kill that one. <laughs> can I? Amazing. Can I tell her what? Yeah, sure, doing? absolutely. It's free action. He just swore, and he's gonna kill you now. Woo! Just thought you'd like to know. Fiery! Uh, and in fact, it's Nova's go. What colour's their blood? Uh, blue? their blood, yeah, it would be... What, what, reptile, reptiles have blue? Do they have, like, yeah, it'd be blue blood, like Spot a dark blood. kind of coloured blood. Right? I don't know. Sure. It's your world. Yeah. Your world. Blue. Blue. <laughs> blue. It's blue. It's blue. Uh, I'm gonna Eldritch Blast the Shaman. Okay. Uh, 17 on one, yep. and uh, ooh, so eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on the other. Oh, the twelve just misses. The <clears throat> 17 hits. One. <laughs> so you kind of oh. graze him as he like throws his arm to sun. You can see him beginning to conjure a new spell. Um, anything else, Nova? Just stay where you are. Bonus action. Mm. Mm. Nah. Okay. Nah. Uh, so the summoned snake is gone. The crocodile, one will make an attack against uh, Ayla, one will make an attack against the mysterious half orc. Mm -hmm. So against Ayla, that is going to be 21. Yeah. And against half orc lady, that's a 13. Yeah. Nope. So Ayla, you're going to take 12 points of damage. Half to six. Half to six, but you are grappled again. <laughs> <laughs> You don't um, learn, do you? <laughs> but this time the rider is now on him, and as it's being grappled, it looks like the rider's going to have an easier time to hit you. What was it to hit you? 19. With the two yeah. additions. Yeah, uh, still hits, unfortunately. Um, are people still baned? Lucius. Huh? Oh, yeah, they're ba they've been baned this entire I've time. Well, the riders have been baned, so they probably I should have remembered for that, but that's oh, okay. on him to remind me. That's on you. Yeah. <laughs> Bane boy. I, I've got a million things, bro! All right. Fine. I remember when I do shit to you guys. I'll just remember injury checks and banes from now on. <laughs> yeah, you should. All right, the injury checks I should remember. <laughs> anyway, uh, Three, Lucius. Two. Can I remember the right thing? Melf's acid arrow on the shaman. Okay. Classic Melf. Uh, Twelve. Just misses him. But I think it does damage on miss. And you uh, still get back frenzy. No. On a miss. Oh yeah, smash the target for half as much the initial damage. So that's oh, cool. 24. Put these well, roll down. forty-four, but then half it. Okay. And then remember your die afterwards. Oh, thanks. Uh, it's okay. Three, six. six. Roll it again and then half. Ooh. Holy shit. Mm. Fourteen. Fourteen, wow. so half to seven. That's, Damn, that's and then dichromancy. Dichromancy would be it's a level two plus my charisma of three to five. So to who? To the shaman? To the shaman as well. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have to be someone else. It doesn't have uh, to be, no. Five. No. So you watch as uh, Lucius pulls back this bow of green energy, fires it. The shaman ducks, but it explodes overhead and scatters his back with burning liquid. Ooh. He kind of hisses like, ah! Looks up, um, and then this streak of, of green light comes no. from uh, Lucius's eye, orange eye, or oh. orange energy, I should say. <laughs> From it there, I thought it was Hodge Rebuke going back. Uh, Okay, the Lizardo men. Um, so we'll do the ones against Mysterious Half Orc first. Yeah. I will remember the Bane this time. Mm -hmm. Mysterious um, Half Orc. Mysterious Half Orc. So 14 plus 4, 18. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to hit. And then the second attack. God, I'm rolling super well. That's uh, an 18 again to hit. What if this character yeah. dies before we meet them? <laughs> yeah. That's 10. Is it likely? Plus 5, 15. 15. That's too Oh upgrade. no! And then against Ayla, they have advantage because you're currently grappled. So is it just a straight roll because they're, they're baned? N Bane doesn't give them disadvantage. It's minus D4. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So. It's not pretty powerful though. 15, yeah. so 12. 16 is a miss against you, isn't no, it? No, it's not cancer. I actually don't know if they Spell. can hit you anymore. Uh, 12 plus. 16. No, nope. both times it misses. So even though you're grappled, this vision is kind of clowning him. They seem to be easily hitting the half orc, but they just can't get a purchase on Ayla. Um, the shaman will look over at you, having seen you just <laughs> obliterate his friend. Vasmarasta. Your hammer grows blazing hot. Can you remind oh. me what heat metal does, please? Yeah. Oh, it does a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. 
Oh, weird. So, oh, your hammer's not made of metal. <laughs> She's a is manufactured it metal, metal it object. It is definitely metal. Is the handle metal? It's, Fizzle, there's metal underneath it. Physical contact, 2d8 fire damage. Okay. Mm. And then you And then the until the spell ends, you can use bonus action on each of your subsequent turns to do this damage again. Retain. So you take 10, which you don't half. Um, if the creature holding it, you choose to drop it. Takes damage for it. Yep. You must succeed on a con saving throw or drop the object if it can. There you go. Constitution saving throw. I mean, you can probably choose to drop it. I'm going to just choose to drop it. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah. sure. But I probably passed that. But yeah, I'm you passed that, but I'm going to say that you could just go, fuck, <laughs> and just drop your hammer. Well, and the way it kind of hammer. goes like, it hits the stagnant water and steam is just boiling up from this constantly on fire hammer. What level did you cast it at? Uh, he cast it at level two. Okay. I'm not going to have him cast it as a higher level because he's pretty dumb. Um, we go back up to the top with Mysterious Half Orc Lady. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> cool. So I'm going to. Now it's time to bring the pain. Now it's time to bring the pain. Pain time. Pain, pain, time. Time. pain train. Here I come. Yep. So I'm going to smash this dude, the orc, an orc rider, the, the lizard, uh, man. lizard man, mm -hmm. with my rapier for yep. uh, 1d8. Do you want to use your hunter's prey thing? I'll to use get my hunter's advantage? sense to give me the 1d6 advantage, yep. please. Oof. Okay. Um, so, so make an attack roll with roll advantage. Roll. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, that's a 12 plus 7, that's 19. 19 is a hit against him for Fantastic. sure. Fantastic. And then I'll do a d8 plus 4 to start with. How long is shield? Hmm? Oh, oh, 8, shield's 9, 12. 10, 11, 12 and plus then, the d6. Yep, for hunter's prey. That's 2. And you had advantage, so you also get sneak attack. Oh, yeah, I do. So that's 2d6. That's sneak another attack, 8. you say. Yep. So oh, he's down some road. So he's down some road. Twenty. I was right in eight. one of my guesses. Um, that one, and that's that guy. He's not been injured yet. Crab. Um, but you watch as this this half orc kind of waits for a second, um, and as he goes to swing. Oh, my rapier is plus one as well. So another that should be added into your damage if you okay. add plus four. I think that's added. Yeah, already. sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Totally okay. Added. But you watch as she waits, and then wham, she just thrusts as the blade just pierces right into his flesh, like. Wah! Ah, and he like this gaping, bleeding wound. Do you want to take a uh, offhand weapon? Oh yeah, bonus action? yeah. Oh, that's did you have a bonus action this time? Rogues, so. man, but, um, you do that as well. They hurt. My... You wouldn't get advantage on that, and you wouldn't was, get the bonus damage. I was wondering. So what is? So is my slayer's prey? No, it's not a bonus action. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because you, well, you did it last turn. You yeah. Did, yeah. To use it is just free. Oh crikey. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'll use one of my short swords then as <laughs> well. I do sit d6 plus three. So she three. like snatches up a short sword from a belt and. So that. Uh, you have to roll to hit still. Oh yeah. Woo. You don't. Have one. Nat twenty. So roll the dice. So roll again. <laughs> oh. And in, roll again. And in fact, you're a half orc, right? Yeah. So you you add another die of damage. So it's what? three. So you rolled a three. two. Yeah. So roll two yeah. more d6. What? That's so, another two. So four. Six. Six plus the uh, plus normal damage. three, that's so nine. So nine points of damage. So you what? watch, yeah, <laughs> fucking half orcs, man. So you stab up with a rapier and then you watch as she snatches this kind of cool bowie knife from her belt, jams it into his chest and then pulls the body into the swamp oh. um, and just rips like this half orc off of his mount, or this lizard man off of his mount. Um, and she just <laughs> throws him to the ground. Um, oh, I good can't keep up with all this damage. It's so much damage. damage. Uh, would you like to move? Oh, yes, please. Let's do that as well. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Uh, let's do 20 feet. The that crocodile way. gets. Uh, the crocodile I don't think it gets. does on you when you use Attack your hunter's prey, I don't think. Yeah. Well, that was that's cunning action, but I think it's a separate thing. Yeah. It's fine. Just move for now. Okay. We'll come back to it. Uh, Quill. Um, um, was it? Um, he's very good. <laughs> yeah, you um, can see, however, blood. Like raining down like her arms, like rivulets of blood. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, bonus action my shield. So the barrier yeah. ring. The barrier <laughs> ring, yep. And I'm gonna attempt to move down the slope. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, you need to check. 13, so yeah. I pass. So I'm going to. Pained breaths. Gently slide down the slope. Uh huh. Eh, eh. Slip a little bit and fall next to this half orc, half unnamed half orc. Um, and I will cast. Hello, by the way. Um, Hello. Uh, a heal, kill wounds level two. So two d eight plus whiz. Yeah, two d eight. I'm burning these d eight. Uh, eight plus four, twelve health. Twelve hit points back. 
You heal 12. You heal oh, someone. wow. Yep. Thank you very much. It's not in our pie. <laughs> <laughs> just, in, in, just in a crocodile's mouth, like, no, this good was job, a, this Quill. Was big, <laughs> this was a big me? level up yep. for me. Can I um, try and get out yep. of... Yes, Athletics check talk. with advantage because you're raging. Uh, oh, that's... That's cocked. That's cocked. That's cocked. Like, yeah. Uh, no, eight, nine, ten, nine, five, six, Yeah, you still pass. <laughs> Rawr, get off me! <laughs> um, so free. I don't have my hammer, so I will Riffle. punch it in the face. Yeah, sure, go um, for it. Wait, is the rider still alive on this one? Yes. Okay. Rassle. I'll pu- no, I'll punch the I'll punch the <laughs> the, crocodile. the crocodile. Okay. She just yeah. like wait, when Ayla just is like. I'll be like, Nova, he messed with my hammer. <laughs> I don't know if you can do it. What do you want me to do about it? So, Kill him. Normal attack rolls, because you know. Oh, oh. that's a second one. Seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, ten, 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 fourteen. To hit, hit the thing, it still hits. So he takes five damage with five my damage. unarmed strike. Uh, that's powerful. That's a powerful. So you just. Bam! You like oh, punch wait. into his face. Dexterity saving Dexterity throw. Dexterity saving throw because your lightning is still going. That's a one. That's two damage. Two there damage. You go. So you just punch this thing in the eye, and then the lightning wraps around it. Um, <laughs> you watch as the lightning hits the crocodile, though. The the lightning seems some of it seems to be absorbed, and there's like a burst of lightning in its jaws. Uh, you imagine oh, that whatever had been oh, held oh. in its jaws would have taken some lightning damage when it's uh, hit by lightning damage. Uh, um, that's the end of Ayla's go. Nova. Um, I'm gonna, okay, so after Ayla showered at me about fire, mm-hmm. or hotness, I'm gonna be like, actually, you got a good point, and I'm gonna firebolt the shaman. Okay. Ooh, so, nice. Hopefully, maybe. Nope. Nine. <laughs> sails past him. But you can see, it, it sails past him because he's turning the crocodile and panic, it looks like he's about to run, and so he's like pulling back and he's like, Vasma! Vasma! I'm just gonna be like, what a surprise, I missed. <laughs> Depressed Nova. <laughs> Oof. Uh, so after Nova, the crocodiles are still gonna try and uh, bite though, because they're kind of savage beasts. Um, so there's now two, this one will basically come after, come after Ayla. Uh, now these don't have Bane, so that's 19. Just. Oh, sorry, uh, actually, that was only 18. Then no, because Ooh. Shield of Faith. Shield of Faith. And then another, the next one is 15. I'm doing oh. something. So, chomp, chomp. <laughs> you kind of throw your arm. Even though you don't have the weapon anymore, you just kind of, like, throw its head to the side, kick it in the, like, the chin, stop it from getting the bite on you, um, fending it off as best you can. Lucius. I will cast another acid arrow on the Shaman, because I don't want him to get away. Spend those. Come back here, you. He's not run yet, but yeah, sure. Uh, that is a... It's a ranged spell attack. Which is what I'll say when you start running. <laughs> nope. Half damage. So it's half damage, yeah. And Dicromancy. Uh, five plus... Uh, ten, so five. So five. So then Dicromancy of... Four. Five. Five. So, so yeah, ten, so. Uh, and in fact, that kills the Shaman. I, actually nice. I wasn't keeping a close eye on his hit points, and you just watch as, as he turns, this streak of orange light hits him in the back, splashes acid all over him, and he just collapses onto the mount, um, which is still pff, beginning is to run forward. Is my hammer not hot anymore? The hammer is no longer hot. Um, hammer not hot. The remaining rider will basically make it's a, a call. Time. Uh, Ayla, you get an attack of opportunity. Yay! These guys are all basically going to try and fuck off. On two of them? Uh, yeah, you get on two. The, the crocodiles aren't spawned. Would that be just, just a punch? Because I guess 20. she wouldn't have picked up a hit. Yeah, that's still a punch. That's 21 to hit. That's a hit. And then the other one? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 to are hit. Are you trying to... Yeah, and on the other one, are you, in fact, actually it's three, because you could punch the rider and the mouse. <laughs> Whoa. They're leaving, <laughs> you're just <laughs> swinging your arms around. That, they'll all, they no, all hit. You would only get Wait, an attack. No, you only get one. Fine, can I hit the, the oh, rider yeah. then? Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Yep. Um, take Sarah to saving throw. Failed. 11 damage from the hammer and... You don't have your hammer. Fifth. Oh wait, you sorry. Oh, yeah. So five, five, sorry, five. Yep. And then five lightning damage. Whoa. Okay. So nice. 10 damage. Super close, but he does... They, he like gets away, like punch, gets punched in the side, like holds his side. He's like, that's, that's, 
ah, and the other crocodiles basically start following him as he dashes off into the swamp. Does he still have right watch. Here, uh, they're about 40 feet, so with a dash action, that's little, 80 feet. Little legs. Yeah, they, well, they, their, their legs are a bit longer than crocodiles, and they don't seem bothered by the, the water here. They just kind of like... Pfft. So there's only Is one he... rider left, right? And their tails like kick behind Is he 120 them. 120 feet away? There's only one rider left. Yeah, there's only one rider left. Yeah. The crocodile. Shoot. Yeah, if you want to shoot him, yeah. You guys get free. He's running at this point. So anybody with range that's Ooh. above eight I feet. I have. Oh. Well, we've got 45 feet. Oh, got yeah. the guiding bolt at level three. Uh, <laughs> oh, you wouldn't be able to get him to him in an attack, I don't think. Because it was 80 bow. feet from your point, so no. Uh, seven, eight, nine won't hit, will it? Nope. Okay. Ten. Nope. I got a. 18 on one. Yep, that hits. Eight points of damage. I got a 20. So you pull the longbow out, you yeah. kind of like put your swords away, pull this longbow out, take a... Yeah, hits, roll damage. Eight plus three. Did you do an attack? No, I've got that a message. 11. Right. Between the two of... <laughs> between Nova <laughs> and this Arthur lady, the arrow <laughs> into his back, and you can see him like, uh, like trying to reach for it, and then the Eldritch Blast rips his arm off. Oh. And the body oh. just falls off into the swamp. The crocodiles just run off. They're just like... That's what you get, you um, pansies. <laughs> and you hear that, and that's where we're going to take a break. Oh, oh man. Nice. Good it's job. Whoop, whoop, and we'll whoop, meet whoop, 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 Unlink Half Orc number yeah. one. Whoop, meet Mysterious Half Orc. Very number soon. One. Break time. Don't go anywhere. Goodbye. Bye, bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.
<laughs> Welcome back, friends. The party have just rushed to the aid of a half orc. Mm. They didn't know who it was, but what heroes they are to rush to their Could aid. Could be a total Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> um, whilst they are on the new continent of Voxar, trying to find some assistance in resurrecting Sentry. Um, Quill knows the area a little well and has decided to head inland following the paths uh, leading from the beach. Um, and you have encountered en route along these paths near a swamp, near a large fen, um, this mysterious half orc woman. Um, and yeah, we watch as the, the crocodiles, which you know are storm scales, uh, rush off into the swamp um, and the various bodies of the lizard men are left behind. Um, Oh, what a shame those storm scales are delicious. Oh, oh well. Uh, can I loot the corpses? <laughs> so, yeah, the wild elf just moves over towards these uh, these scaled humanoids, these lizard folk. Most of them, their, their weapons are very primitive. Um, you know, bone made battle axes, shells, uh, kind of like large turtle shells sculpted into shields. Uh, the shaman had like a gnarled wooden staff, a necklace made of bones um, with small ornate beads on it. Um, nothing Take that necklace, that's, that's a little trophy there. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Are <laughs> uh, any of them still alive? Nope, pretty dead. Damn it, Nova, you could understand them, right? Mm -hmm. We could have got the other side of things, you know, weighed up what's, what's right and what's wrong, and now we're just kind of going with our instincts. I think they pretty much just wanted to kill us all. And with that, I'm just going to go back to Sentry Body and sit down next to it. <laughs> Depressed Nova. Yeah. Can I? Yeah, I was. I was actually going to just go back up to like walk past. Go hi. Just just a minute. Um, and go back up to where Sentry okay. is and just pick pick up Sentry and be like Noah. Okay. Yeah, I'm following. I'm taking my okay. carrying duty seriously. Yeah. I don't want to leave her. I'll yeah. talk to bring her to the group. It's, yeah, it's tiring. It's definitely yeah. tiring lugging her around. Don't bring Sentry near. Um, hello. Uh, hello, hello. Um, thank you very much. I'd like to offer my thanks for you uh, helping me. You didn't have to do that. It's a... Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, you said these were delicious. Was this just hunting? Oh, no, I was sent out by, uh, by the good townspeople of Kakul. They sent me out to go and uh, investigate the area. There's been some strange goings on and I found myself uh, out of my depth. Uh, if it wasn't for you, I would surely be fooled for them, as they are fooled for me. Uh, so thank you. Well, I mean, Ayla kind of smashed one down there, so if there might be some faces. No, I don't like to drink my food. <laughs> but, uh, thank you, thank you. I, I kind best. of have to. Sorry, I'm going to pick up my hammer again. What? Yeah, what? Just clean it a bit. Whoa. <laughs> it's covered in grime. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was sent by a town to kill these things. What's your name? Oh, else you can come down. Hello. Um, uh, it's a bit slippy. I don't want to. Please um, try. I want to watch. Nova. Yeah. Let's let's go down the slippy hill. Don't worry. Just hold on to my shoulder, and I'll start walking down. Yeah, I mean, it, it's yeah, it's not that bad. You're not just gonna go. Like, whoop, whoop. <laughs> well, I don't know. It is Lucius. <laughs> you can walk up and down a hill. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you can make your way down. <laughs> but as soon as you get to the bottom of the hill, like your boots sink into this spongy, mossy <laughs> ground <sighs> and this kind of layer of stagnant rainwater just like... Can't we just meet back up at the hill? It is gross down here. Sorry, I spat everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you notice that there are bugs uh, just flying around like... Yeah, like these, these little kind of water flies. How do you live in these conditions? <laughs> I suppose you have to be a lizard person. Well, live quite well. It's, uh, it's not that bad. Um, so, uh, introductions, I assume. Um, so, uh, why don't you all start? Uh, I've never seen your kind here before. You're a very strange group to be in these lands. Uh, well, actually, could you start? Sure. <laughs> uh, for 10 gold, I can start. Uh, 10 gold for an introduction? 10 gold if you want to know about me, yes. Well, it's 15 gold to find out about this uh, glistening fellow right here. And very expensive. <laughs> well, shall we make a trade? How about we just give our names to each other? Because honestly, I'm <laughs> okay. sick of Okay, <laughs> okay, sure. Sure, it's just a funny jest, I suppose. We've been through hell. 
It looks like you have. I, was, I wasn't going to say, I thought it might be rude, but you look weary. Oh yes, I'm we've very traveled weary. very, very far in a very quick space of time. Personally, I find smashing some crocodiles in the face very therapeutic. Yes, you're very good at that. I, I, can, I can see that. Uh, you would do very well here. Excellent to know. I would do well here. Someone didn't look at me and go, uh, wild elf, uh, this is new, this <laughs> well, is better here. This isn't Savona. You all did very well though. I think all your skills would be greatly appreciated around here actually. Well, I mean, I saw what you did to um, that one. I like point at the yeah, it was oh, slash bro guy. It's nothing, it's nothing. Really? It yes. It looked like something. Uh, it's just my job, I just do this. It's no mean feat for me to do that kind of thing all the time. It's fine. I get paid for it. It's a good life. Um, good. It's Look at the swamp floor. <laughs> it's, My dirty boots. It's something. But anyway, I, uh, I'm, I'm Araya. Araya. Araya, captain of the Gold Tooth. Gold Tooth? Captain? Yes. <gasps> Do you own an airship? Did you spell that? It's a O-R-I-Y-A. <laughs> spell that real you wrong. I that in character. Nope. How do you spell that? <laughs> <laughs> so you, you own an airship, we can go. Well, uh, oh, owned and not quite an airship, more like the water vessel. Oh, a boaty. A boat and... Sorry, I didn't mean to be offensive. It's okay. I was just look, really looking forward to an airship. Uh, it's your sky elf. Yes, yes, yes. Hoping to go back home any time now. Interesting. I don't Wait, see your kind very often. A half-orc with a boat on the eastern side? Are you, are you part of the... I can't remember, Wide Kings? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, the gold tooth is more like... like oh, wait, it's not wide. Something. Something like that. I know what you mean. <laughs> the gold tooth is more like a trade vessel. We sail around and trade bits here and there, go out looking for treasure, and then my bastard brother stole my ship and my crew and ruined everything! Okay. Okay. But it's a good life. But it's a good life. <laughs> right. Life is good right now. Until I get my gold, then I will get my ship. Right. So you're being paid for this specific... But this, yes, this I'm paying very well for this. It's very good work. You yes. are, are you? Yes, it's very good. And then when I get enough gold, I can buy a boat, go find my bastard brother and get my ship back. That is the plan. Right. But... Shit. Okay. Well, we just helped you. You did. So do you mind helping us? get to this town that you got this mission from. Oh, Kakul, sure, sure, I can take you to Kakul, yes. Um, but please, would you introduce yourself to me? Because you are strangers and I would like to know of if course. I can trust you. How Thank rude. You. I'm Lucius Virian Elowen Elanasto of Gusthaven. Pleasure to meet you. I'm sure you've heard of the Elanastos on your trips. Not really, no. No, but it's oh. a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Mm. Skyel. <laughs> pleasure is all mine. I'm Very sure. Nice. You really haven't heard of the Elanastos? Mm, not really, no. At this point, who has heard of them? When, because most Sorry, I'm really know. distracted because Trot's biscuit just disintegrated <laughs> into his tea. <laughs> it just probably just sogged the spit fell in, and I can't do this anymore. <laughs> you don't know. I want to zoom in on I... his cup of tea. Tom, do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You don't know how much I held that in. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I, I, want, I want to zoom in on the cup of tea and... Hello, darkness, my bad bad. friend. It's bad. It's real bad. That's like half the biscuit. Aww. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Sorry, carry on. <laughs> uh, well, Delphius. Ayla. Lovely to meet you. You Good too. strong woman. Yes. Fantastic. Capable fighters, I like those. Fantastic, yes. I love it. Beautiful. He's a bird. I'm Kaelic Hadkalar. Yes? I healed you in the fight. I'm doing that now. Do you think that? Is this the most awkward introduction to people yes. ever? Most likely, yes. yes. I'm just going to clean my hammer and just yes. zone out a little bit now. And so are you with the, uh, the messenger guild? Why are you doing here? Shouldn't you be up there? Oh god, it's getting more awkward. Oh god! Um, oh god. Well, um... Up there is Nova, she's an ally, and also we have another... Oh, Eganassi! We're down next, we're oh, down next to you guys. Oh, over there is Nova, and Hello, also... Hello, um, Hi, I'm Nova. I'll probably get you killed, so you might want to stay away from me. I very much doubt that, my young one. Your magic spells are amazing to witness. 
Yeah, ones that hit. But still. She's going through a bit of a rough patch. Sucked all the life out of the conversation. We're all going through a bit of a rough patch. You can probably see... Um... No, it's fine. <coughs> We're on a bit oh, of a mission. Okay, what, what are you carrying? What is this? This so is the body Sentry. of Sentry. I got her killed. <laughs> We're trying oh. to get That's not correct, but this is the body of our friend. We may have the power to bring her back to life. So we need to we need to go to a town where someone I can see. do this. Okay, okay. But she's still covered, so she still like mm-hmm. can't really see that it's a guardian. It's a guardian yeah. Okay, no problem. Uh, so it looks like she's a there. guardian. Thanks, Lucius. A guardian. <laughs> yes, yes, and we got this. Uh, what is it? The, the star. If, if you hadn't said it was covered up, he wouldn't have said it. <laughs> <laughs> He was too busy eating biscuits. Well, that's very interesting. I hope every biscuit you eat falls into your skin. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, a bloodbath back there. That is I a horrible it. threat. Yeah. You cannot Ooh. make those. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty bad. So, <laughs> Especially the British people. Yeah. Nothing yeah. but terrible Everyone's screaming. <laughs> no. Um, How okay, dare yeah. you? Lucius has said that now. Great. <clears throat> okay, you, you should be careful carrying those things around. Yes, this is why she's covered up. Thanks, Lucius. Not those oh. things. Um, but anyway, how far is Kakuku? Not far. It's a, a couple of hours travel from here. Kaku is maybe two, two, three hours. Oh, that's well. Through this kind of. Um, what is this? Mud? <laughs> this is like a swamp. It's just water and mud. And why, why, why does this surprise you? Have you not seen water and mud? Technically, it's peat. It's peat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> I did a lot of research on wetlands. <laughs> uh. Last week was so serious, and now this. Yeah. This is happening. Yeah, I think you guys needed this. Uh. Um, anyway, oh, me. yes. Uh, <laughs> So, Oriah, for your information, uh-huh. yeah, Karkul is, yeah, like a couple of hours. Um, it's not traveling through the swamp. You'd actually go back out into the hills and up and around. Um, then you know that this particular swamp is, they call it the Witchmoor, is Witchmoor. what they call this oh, area. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's a couple of hours, but not in this territory. You, you can yeah. move away from this ground. You've done your job. You, you've come in and find out what was going on. Excellent. Can you help us avoid this? And also, you're worried about some storms of some kind? I mean, uh, I guess so. There's storms all over the place. Like, can we Reason hear them? Though I haven't checked to see if the storms will get to you today. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm just waiting for. So you're worried about storms? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Twenty-five percent. Okay. Can I keep an ear out for storms? Yeah, I guess can. like Kayla yeah, yeah, yeah. would usually yeah. pick Kushka. up on that anyway. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yep. I mean, that's just what this place is. It's filled it with storms. It was just so distracted It's all storms. It's just the way of life. People just get used to it and we deal with it however we can. People get used to it. They get used to it, Lucius. If we go to Gusthaven, we have full control of the weather and it's insanity that anyone lives like this. And people, do they, does anyone ever choose a thunderstorm? No. Good. Do thunderstorms make crops grow? I don't know. Do and they? Why aren't we in... Gusthaven. Oh wait, I remember. I just remembered very vividly everything that's happened in the last 12 hours. Can we not? Can we not <laughs> go back? Let's just keep moving forward like you say. Okay. Okay. Weather is, is just character building. So that's what it is. I like this one. This one is good. She talks a lot of sense. You hear that? Character building. The locals like me here. I'm staying forever. It makes you tough. It makes you tough. Lightning makes you tough, Ayla. But it, it makes it, you tough. It I'm like some... pointing at my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is an awkward moment for you, but, and I'll just like crackle lightning in my fingers. Sometimes <laughs> it kind of does, but don't worry. Okay. I'm not going to go near you with it. Good. <laughs> you have to admit that it has helped us mm-hmm. in battles. It makes you tough, Araya. Excellent. <laughs> so, so uh, Kaku, shall we go? Hey. Seems like you're pretty keen to make a move, yes? Moving yes. forward, whatever Time you keep is saying. Time the essence. Yep. Okay. While, while, we, while we move, I've got a few questions about the town, if you wouldn't mind. Okay, no problem. Okay. So just so while you start <laughs> travelling, 
again, you ha you have to slow down. Yep. Uh, you can immediately tell that there isn't the bird. The bird man has an injury yep. um, and can't move very fast. And Ayla, although she's strong, you have to keep stopping to rest because carrying a you know super heavy <laughs> robot woman is is exhausting. So you have to take rest. So it's very slow going. Yep. Um, the weather does seem to be getting worse. Uh, there are clouds gathering overhead, and Ayla, you notice here in this con in this country, you don't really get a sense of that there's a storm coming. Even though you can look around and notice the same symbols, you don't get that unnat that you know supernatural sense of a storm coming. You don't think these are natural storms. Interesting. These are magical storms. Mm, interesting. Um, but yeah, so when you start traveling, um, it does start to rain. It gets windy. Um, it's not pleasant traveling conditions, but if you want to ask questions, you absolutely can. Are there beds? Are there beds? There, there are beds in people's houses. Yes. Um, you, you, <laughs> Arai, you would know Kakul. It doesn't have an inn per se. It has a drinking hall. Um, it has a blacksmith, and it has people's cottages, and a couple of crafting halls, a windmill. That's about it. It's not. Uh, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's a bit of a, you know middle of the sticks kind of place um if these guys want to rest there then you're either gonna you're gonna probably need to either try and cram them all into your like little cottage that you have for yourself that they gave you or you're gonna have to find locals that will let them put up put them up you know in their place in their houses okie so, dokie yeah. what's, the cu that? what's the cuisine like delicious very good oh, at least there's something oh, look forward to that after this long <coughs> are there any um, clerics or healers or anything like that? Not in Karkul? There's a, there's a local healer, but she isn't, you know, she's more like, you know, medicine and like, yeah. you know, it's another salts. centaur lady, isn't it? Um, not even that level. Like, she's not a potion maker. She's like the local wise woman that people go to, like, and they've got an ache or a cough. You know, she has like ointments for cuts and bruises, but. You know, she's a doctor, not a medical, like a magical healer. Yeah. Mm. Could she heal his ribs? Unlikely. <clears throat> but you would know that the next town over, Stenhill, probably has enough. Stenhill. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. My local doctor will assess you and see the nature of your injuries. You might be able to heal you, you might not, but there are ways if you can't. There are ways? Yeah, there are other people around who might be able to help. How far around? <laughs> Sten Hill's probably about a day's travel from Cockle. One day. Yeah. About another day, day and a half. Hmm. Two days at the speed Birdman goes. Yeah. Ugh. Why'd they take his damn wing? I could fly there. <laughs> Wouldn't help with broken can, ribs. You can, did you say that loud? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there anything else you want to ask, or we can just jump ahead? Because. Yeah, I think you're gonna, um, you're gonna. There's no major encounters up on this point. You're traveling through the valleys and the hills, um, with Araya to guide you. You can kind of, you know, stay out of the worst of it. With the wind building up, Araya, you notice, keeps to pass. Even though you think, but it would be quicker to just go this way. She keeps you in like the bottom of the valleys, um, and here you can see plants have clung to the sides of hills, and they bend in the sh in the direction that the wind would blow. Stormlight. <laughs> <laughs> it's massively Stormlight, very yeah. Roshar uh, Stormlight inspired. Um, and in fact, you can see the plants themselves as the wind and the rain begins to build up. A lot of these kind of colorful plants, they shrink down and they kind of get sucked inside the body of the plant itself. Um, the trees, their bark is incredibly thick and tough. Mm. Um, it looks like you'd have to really work to pull it away from, from the body itself. Um, but you, a few hours of traveling, um, and you left very early, so perhaps it's around midday. Um, you, what are your rations like, and where are they stored? <laughs> How would you know? I don't know. I'm okay. do... I guess. Are they visible in a pocket? <laughs> <laughs> They're probably hanging from my belt. Yeah, like in a like a little um, bag. Little bag. Yeah, on my belt. You Actually, I'm just going to try and dip in and take a little bit. Like, like, st sleight of hand style? Or As is I'm just like, hello Nova, how's things going? Pocket, eat. <laughs> Do you actually say pocket, eat? No. <laughs> <laughs> pocket, eat. <laughs> num num. I'll notice, but I'll just... Just yeah. checking in, everything's okay. Yeah, like everyone says, just gotta keep moving forward. Mm, yeah. We've gotta get sentry. Do you know what's fascinating? 
I considered Birdie my rock and he almost broke and that almost absolutely destroyed me and I was moments away from absolute breakdown. Anyway, <laughs> okay. pocket eat. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, you wind your way through the hills and eventually in the distance, you begin making We're just glossing over that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I am. Yeah. It's not my job. You said um, pocket eat at the end. Of yeah, the that's, that's, that, that was clearly done. How Unless, many of my rations are you eating? Two or is just, just a few one? like little mouthfuls. Okay, so that's, that's one. Yes, one. <laughs> <laughs> like these are trail rations. I like not how a lot. you've picked the person who's most depressed to steal Super from. from. Yeah. <laughs> Out of anyone else. That's because that's she's not she's the one that's not gonna fight Actually, back. <laughs> that's true. Um, yeah. Lucius doesn't consider it stealing. He yeah. just he's always been given food. Ever. Yeah. So he's just like yeah. oh. Nova just hasn't given it to you yet. Yeah. That's you're just you're you're helping. <laughs> You're taking it so she doesn't have Skipping to give it to Skipping the process she doesn't have to deal with. Yeah, this exactly. is how we do it. <laughs> it's all right, I'll just starve to death later. Um, <laughs> you see oh, uh, a village. Um, the stone cottages are built into the bases of tall hills uh, in like a, you know, uh, a, a slow, not a valley, rather on the side of a number of hills rolling down towards where the swamp you just came from. So kind of like these north... Uh, facing hills and the cottages are built into them and on the hills above them a lot of them have wind turbines some of them like windmills some of them more vertical with kind of like vertical uh, slides um, and you can see people milling around they wear unlike Savona these they're not dressed in anything like close to Savona these people have um, thick woolen kind of tunics that look very waterproof waxed hoods um, that are like down, their clothes are all tight, they're kind of wrapped around, like there's no loose flaps of clothing, everything is wrapped quite tightly. Um, thick boots um, that come up nearly to their knees um, so they can wade through the bogs and things like that. And they all have a, a stern look, but they're all quite pale, um, lots of fair hair, blue eyes, very Scandinavian, the humans that you see. Mm. But you also notice that this place is full of different races. This isn't like Savona where it was mainly humans and dwarves. Um, you see goliaths, you see rock gnomes, you see halflings, um, you see tieflings. Mm. You even actually at one point glance uh, um, a wild elf carrying a big barrel into a larger looking cottage kind of uh, there's like a small uh, symbol of like a flagon outside of it you see this like wild elf carrying it in there covered in tattoos and things i guess no high elves though um no no high elves uh, no arakokra um oh. maybe a couple of ganassi yeah like maybe like one earth ganassi but not many still rare but not many um, and it's a small village. There's maybe like 10 buildings, 12 buildings, not many at all. Okay. Um, and as you approach, there's kind of a path leading in and you see, you didn't, you wouldn't have spotted it, but there is a kind of shallow like guard post dug into one of these smaller hills. Mm. And uh, a man from inside looks up uh, and is like, who's there? No, oh, even I didn't spot that one. Oh, it's you, Araya. I, I've picked up a few uh, travelers along the way. Travelers? Where did you all come from? Ha, <laughs> well... Uh, Good question. Where did you come from? I don't think I asked you. The coast. The coast? Are you shipwrecked or something? Sure. Yes. And you can see that the coyness, his eye is narrow. Oh, we don't. Mm. He looks to you, Araya. Be careful with these ones. They're not. Mm. You can just see that there's this suspicion. Strangers. Mm. They seem trustworthy enough. They've just had a hard time. They just need some rest. Well, you can the drinking hall and you take them there. Uh, just uh, be careful. We think there may be a storm coming pretty quick. No so problem. Get inside while you can. Did you find uh, the what was causing the trouble? Oh yes, yes. It was a uh, lizard folk riding. Ah. Uh, yes. Storms damn those lizards. They're always causing trouble. Yeah, taken care of now. Thanks to uh, these folk here, they helped me. Uh, they assisted me. Oh, well then, uh, perhaps. My apologies. Uh, I was wrong to judge you so harshly. If you've helped the Raya and fighting the lizards, then you can't just be some. Foreign sops uh, coming to all the again. small people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're quite capable. They're very strong, actually, in combat. They might be quite useful. Oh, good, good. We don't normally have a lot of attacks from the Witchmore, but it's uh, <coughs> tough land around here. You should be careful. Who do you follow in terms of, you know, who do you pray and 
all the gods of the starborn children, but uh, it depends. When there's a funeral, we pray to Kilara. When there is a storm, we pray to Hesper and Zephyr. No thanks, Siaska. When it is well, on the stars, we pray to Siaska. It is... Why? What do you think? You are a sky elf, no doubt, sure. Uh, if yeah. anything, who do you pray to? Siaska. Hmm. We are obviously right. the, the first race from Siaska. And this human just, he doesn't even seem bothered by that. He's just like, well, you'll find life a little bit harder down here, Sky Elf. Watch yourself. I've been on the lowlands for a long time now. Ah, well, if you've been anywhere that wasn't Merskir, good luck. Yeah. He gives you a nod. It's like, good job. Just kind of gives you a nod. We'll make sure that you get the money in your, delivered to your cottage for your work. Thank you, no problem. No problem. He just goes back to his guard post. Move along. Storm's coming. Uh, it's getting storm's nice. coming. Yeah, it won't be here for a few hours, but... Hours? Plenty of time to... Did you, you have a cottage here? I have a cottage. There is also a, a tavern if you fancy a drink. Uh, somewhere, to, somewhere warm to sit. Is that where the good food is? Well, they also have food, yeah. Yeah, there's good food there. Or you, can, or you like, you, like you have a croaker set, you can come to my cottage. Do they accept this kind of currency? And I hold out silvers and coppers. Yeah, yeah yes, yes. That's a fair amount. Silvers. Yeah. Lucius, you're doing it again. Hmm? You're showing all your gold to everyone again. I don't have any gold. Look, it's all silver pieces oh. Oh. and copper. Wow. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He... Nova's got all the gold. Like at least 200 or something like L that. Lucius. <laughs> I would like a drink, please. Yes. Do we have time? We need to shelter from this storm anyway, and we need to assess where we're going to go from here. Mm. We, don't, we still don't know where we are. Well, I don't. There could be someone in town that could help Sentry. Or at least give us directions to the nearest place. We so this um, this tavern, or your cottage, uh, strong roof. Dude, yes, strong enough. Strong, strong enough for? For the storms, yes. Definitely. Yes. 100%. Yes. Then we go there. Okay. Now. Okay. <laughs> We go to the tavern. Is that where we might be able to ask around, see if anyone can help us? Yeah. Pretty much, it's the only place to go in this village. Like uh, everybody will go there at some point. Today. So is it just houses and tavern? <laughs> and it's not an inn. There are no rooms to rent. There is a place where you go and drink. It's midday. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you make your way over there. You can see it's a long cottage. Um, there is a like a sideways chimney. Uh, where smoke is kind of billowing out from it, and there is a pungent, earthy smell from that mm. smoke. Um, and when you step inside, it is a low ceiling, wooden floor, wooden tables, um, maybe flagstones beneath the wooden floor just to kind of help keep moisture out. Uh, there is a bar with dirty clay cups, um, bottles, various bottles kind of around there, smell of something cooking in the back. And then there's a large fire, but instead of wood logs, it's like a earthy peat moss that's being burnt, and it lets off this very fragrant, earthy smell. Um, not 100% pleasant, but not foul. Um, and you kind of step in there. You're used to the smell in here. Um, you know that this place is run by a wild elf called Amald. Amald. Amald! Uh, and you hear this kind of like, bah! and then you notice this kind of, tall, he kind of has to kind of hunch his neck a little bit, um, fair-skinned elf, long blonde hair in various different braids all down his back, kind of comes down to the middle of his back, all sorts of bones and beads woven into it, um, blue tattoos of various knots and lightning bolts kind of all over his arms, but no tartan and dressed very differently to Ayla. Um, he wears clothing more like Mir's gear, kind of tightly wrapped, bound to his wrists, down to his uh, calves, um, loose kind of grey tunic. Uh, and he kind of looks up with these piercing blue eyes. He's like, ah, Oria, good to see you. Come in, come in. I bought a few friends. Is it okay if they grab a drink, something warm to eat? He like looks around. He's like, that depends. You got some coin? Uh, the, the high elf said he had plenty of coin. Well, that's good enough for me then. Come in, sit down. The fire's just going. Uh, Sit where you like. Not that anybody's here yet. They'll all be in later. Could you provide us a menu of some sort? A me what is a menu? Uh, what kind of food do you serve? Oh, why didn't you just ask? Strange elven word. 
Uh, main thing I've got cooking right now, I've got some frulbosk, some perona. Uh, I've got a few uh, hot nuts left over from the morning. There's a bit of clack meat, spiced. It's good. It's very good, the clack meat. And then for drink, well, mm. there's perona. Uh, what good? I bring you out some of everything. How about this? How much mm? would yes. that cost? I don't know. Uh, you want drinks? Yes. What do you want to drink? Alcohol. All right, good. Are you same for everyone? I think everyone needs one. All right, good. I, prefer I bring you a bottle of Perona. <laughs> sure. It's good. You want it spiced? Why not? Sure. But oh, not too spicy, please. <laughs> he just laughs. Oh. Okay, uh, one, two. I'll take some fantastic clack meat, please. Okay, I bring everything out. I oh, just no do problem. Together. Your friend's paying, yes? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Mm. Can't be that expensive. Three gold. That's quite expensive. Quite expensive, but for all of us, never have you got there. And I you just... can stay here as long as you like. Oh. Until tonight when I have to sleep. Then you get out. Oh, there are no rooms? No. There's not some inn. We don't get travelers. D oh. How long do the storms usually last? A few hours. Hmm. Where can we stay? Shrugs. We stay at my place. Yes, you it's have cozy, but five beds? I don't have five beds. I have one chair, but... <laughs> you have like a bed, a chair and floor. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But it's shelter at least and you'll need it. Yes, I, I guess so. Very well. Not a lot of folks come all this way down south. What are you, some kind of treasure hunters or something? <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> While all this is going on, Sorry, way, I've just time. quietly counted out three gold and put them on the bar. Like he kind of he gives you a nod and he just <laughs> scrapes it in. Like rubs his nose, <laughs> spits on the floor. So what was the question again? <laughs> You're not Why are you here? Why have you come so far south? I asked if you were treasure hunters. <laughs> okay. Um. No, we're seeking new, new fortunes, but not treasure. Hmm. Well, miners or something? They don't look like miners. No, I'm... No. Don't make the joke. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to resurrect your friend. Um, I uh, wondered why you were carrying a corpse. Thought maybe you'd come to bury them out in the swamp in the Witchmoor. Is that where we just were, the Witchmoor? I don't know. Where were you? <laughs> like, looks yes, like I don't where know where you, were. you've just you been. You were in the Witchmoor. The Witchmoor. Okay. You've been out in the Witchmoor. <laughs> you get eaten by any of the hags or the lizard folk. <laughs> oh, never knew their heads in. Yeah. Yeah. He looks at you like, ah, you seem like the type who can crush a few storm scales. Yes. Ah, very good. <laughs> but if you go back, you should be careful. A lot of dark talk about the witch moors. Yeah. They say the, uh, the woman of the night stalks those moors at night. We don't intend to go out at night at all. If anything, I'd much rather not go in the foggy place. No, I don't think we're planning on heading back more moving forwards uh, with nearby towns what was there again nearby towns yes well Sten hills about the day's travel from here to the <laughs> north you'll need to make your way through the valleys to avoid the storms though the valleys uh, it's just a pathway that leads to Sten okay. hill not that valley <laughs> no there's normally hills <laughs> above it and then it's a path underneath Orion That's was the way. Valley. She's made her way up to Stone Hill before. If you're looking for a guide, we'd recommend hiring her. She's been doing great work here in the village for a while. Okay. We're trying to get somewhere that has some people who might be able to resurrect our friend. This will require magic. Do you know? Oh, I like. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't I get your food, sit down, and then I'll tell you what I know. I've heard a few stories. Lived a bit longer around here than some of these humans and gnomes can anyway. And he kind of gives you a nod like, oh, we're elves. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look at you, though. You're not one of his people. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> right. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, you can see, but the thing you notice is there's no indication of a clan or a tribe to no. this guy. 
Like, he's obviously living but here. But he's got lightning bolt tattoos. And yeah, but it doesn't seem to be like clan markings yeah. or anything. It's almost just he's done them himself because of the environment he's in. Yeah. Um, but he comes back, and he comes back with a selection of steaming plates uh, and bowls. Mm. Um, uh, he, puts, he puts uh, a bowl down in the middle, uh, which Say has oh. got a white... Like a tuba, like a, not like a like a rat rat tuba, <laughs> like, like a, a long thin, Clip. firm root vegetable. Root vegetable, yeah, basically, <laughs> um, which has been fried not and the sprinkled. Instrument. Yeah, not brass <laughs> instrument. <laughs> not which has been wor wor. Yeah. Uh, along with that, there is a um, big root vegetable. But it's like spiced. It's like fried. It's like deep fried. And cut then up. it's had like things, yeah, cut up basically. Almost like cal like squid rings, mm. like calamari rings. Um, yeah. He also puts down a plate with about five uh, like thin, doughy looking breads. Um, and then a bowl of like steamed crabs, like little crabs. Um, oh and they're like steamed crabs. Uh, oh. And he points and he's like, points at the tuba. Frulbosk points at the breads. Loops, clacks. It looks very nice, actually. Thank you. It's pretty good. Compliments to the chef. Yeah, I don't have many. Uh, we haven't had any good fishing luck lately. Normally, I like to make some loot fish, but I couldn't do it recently. So clacks, I picked from the beach. Mm. Clacks, clacks. Yeah. Not like riding clacks. These are the little ones. Good to know. Right. You can ride on some of these? The big ones, yeah. We use them to pull the wagons. Wait. And you, wait, you have wagons here? No, not, not, not here. Not Looks here, not. no. In the, in this. I mean, sure, yeah. People, well, not uh, traders have them and things of the like. Uh, mainly, once you get to, st to Stenhill, you'll see more of them. Hmm. Do you think we might be able to rent one there? To I don't think we uh, rent one in Stenhill? Yeah, sure. Well, we to get there. There's none here? No. no. Right. No. Mm. You're in. You're far out in the wilderness here, friends. Uh, Ryer, she's the newest one to come to the village in a long time. She's been here a year. You found that, yes. Uh, found her washed up on the shore. I've been yes. hiring her as a monster slayer for the last year. Uh, but don't get a lot of travelers. Not this far south. Well. I've done a little traveling myself, but I came and settled here a long time ago. Well. I'll give the loops a go. The loop? The loops? Loop. Ah, that's good. Have some. It's bread. <laughs> it feels like bread. <laughs> that's like doughy. It's it's not doughy. Like, there's a bit of firmness to it. Almost like a little rubbery, but it smells like a dough. It's like being baked like bread. I assume it's whole grain. You eat some. Yeah. It's like, no, it's mushrooms. Loops. Oh, what? Mushrooms? Yes. Yes, loops bread. Yeah. We we'll call it loop slopper. Loops is mushroom. Does anybody want this? Sure, why Delicious. not? Delicious. I mean, Quill would like yeah, it, nice. but I, I, as Tom, hate it. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds horrible. We grind up the mushrooms, mix with nuts, makes a good bread. As Kim, I suddenly understand a thousand tweets I've seen this week. Loops bread. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. And frulbosk. Try frulbosk. Very good. What, what, what is that? Uh, like uh, from ground. A vegetable. Let's take a, a handful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crunch. Crunch. The rice going nice to town. Spiced. Mm. Mm -hmm. Amazing try Yeah, so it's actually all pretty good. It's uh, the clacks, the crab is basically very salty and seafoody. Um, but it's good. It's like steamed with like uh, some sort of garlic. Um, mm. Is this all totally alien to quill? I mean, you're from the thing is you didn't travel out of the storm wall, so no. I, I just wonder if that sort of it probably like they probably thing. would have traded it, yeah. Like I think you have seen a lot of this stuff. You've delivered some, but maybe you didn't mm. know the names of it. Okay. Aracocra delivery. <laughs> <laughs> they'd be the Love ones that. doing the delivering though. So I think uh, that like because like if you travel to like I've never smelled this before <laughs> anywhere where the Aracocra did business with the humans of Merskir, I think yeah you would have seen people like eating like. Ah, uh, Lubsbara. Mm. What's it, it called? Well. called? Lubsbara. Yeah, it gets cold very quickly. <laughs> That's the bread. When it's baked into a bread, it's called Lubsapa. Lubsapa. Ah. Mm -hmm. So, 
Once you eat my delicious food, eat up, Sky Elf. Come on. Yes, yes. You need I... your strength. I have a tiny mouth. <laughs> he is right. You are going to need your strength. We need to eat while we can. Hot meals. All right. That goes for all of you. So, you wanted to know magic, ways to get friends, yes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know much, but I tell you what I know. Uh, Stenhill um, is a bigger town than this. Uh, Araya's been there, she knows. There's a priestess of Kilara there. Whenever we have the dead, we go and speak to her. But I've heard that she can mend bones, uh, cure diseases. Uh, that happens sometimes in the swamp, especially with the damn lizards and the frogmen. You get their diseases frog and their man. poison. Mm. Now, you didn't fight the frogmen? Didn't see those, no. Nope. Nah, they're normally fighting with the lizards over territory, and they sometimes come and fight us as well. Always fighting over the old dragon's bones or the mirror, the ruin. They're feisty. Mm. The mirror? Very feisty. Uh, it's called something. An old historian came by once. It used to be part of Siaska's domain back before the Sundering. It's called the Mirror of Twilight. And the frogmen protected like crazy. We can't get close. Mm. Guessing there must be something valuable there, treasures or magic or something. And then the lizards, well, the old dragon's bones out in the swamp, won't let us anywhere near the damn things, but you hear stories. You hear stories about uh, the ghost of the dragon coming alive. Nope. Oh, quite done with okay. ghosts. It's a good one to tell the children, that one. They mm. love it. Do they? Yeah, they do. They like, well, people around here, we like our stories. Now, there is old tales. The Witchmore got its name because people have always said that there's always been a witch in the moors. She said that she might occasionally grant boons to people that come and find her, but normally it involves a quest or a task or something. A witch giving boons and not curses. Well, that's the thing. I think that the, the way the stories go is that if you don't complete the task, the boon becomes a curse. Right. So only the greatest heroes can get what they require. But there's a priestess of Kilara up in Stenhill who can heal some injuries. Don't know about bringing back the dead. Can't imagine the priestess of the goddess of death would be kind on that. Well, the only other places I know is, well, Ka Katavag, the big city up to the north. It's where the shepherd lives. He's a powerful spellcaster. Uh, He's the one that looks after this region. No doubt, I'm sure that he would be strong enough to, well, bring someone back to life. I've heard of such miracles. Never seen it done, though. Hmm. And there is the old midwife's forge. It was a temple to Valena long ago, before the Sundering. There's always been rumors about miracles happening there. Uh, miracles of life, specifically. Uh, women who desire to have children but can't get pregnant, they visit and suddenly they're fine. Uh, people that are sick and dying travel to the forge, come back healthy as anything. Maybe something like that could have the power to restore life to your friend. Hmm. And the goddess of the forge, the forge mistress herself, said she can reshape life like a smith reshapes a, a blade or an axe. Something like that, maybe. And then the last thing I would know is your people. Crazy bird men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's us. Powerful shamans up in the storm wall. People that can speak to the dead and fly on the winds, speak to the gods. People like that surely must know something about bringing back the dead. If you ask me, though, they're all crazy. Once a year, flying off into the worst of the storms from their tower. Mad men. Mm -hmm. Mad birds. What could go wrong? Anyway. If I guess we... that's how you lost your arm then. Oh, you spotted. Yes, actually. It's not hard. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. I um, you saw that. <laughs> that was, yep, yeah, that was it. Not how I broke this entire. So, uh, Kakul. <laughs> um, Karkul, that's where you are now. We're in Karkul. Yes. So, if we go to Stenhill. Yep. And we managed to rent a wagon. How long would it take us to get to anywhere else? Any of these places you mentioned? Katovag's still a good uh, three days, two, three days on the wagon. That's provided that you don't get into any trouble along the way. 
There's always Storm Griffins or Boulets, Ankegs, Orion knows about those. Yes, he's Gets not a lot of work. Yes. Okay. Uh, you'll need a good guide and a protector, I imagine. But uh, there's also Kusthal. You know about that place, right? Kusthal, yes. Uh, you'd go there quite often. Oh, uh, yes. I love Kusthal. The orcs. Fantastic. Orion's people. They have shamans and clerics, but they all live out in the Dorn's uh, archipelago. But Kustal's a port town, so if you wanted a ship, oh. you could try there. That's a bit closer, not f much closer though. Good place for drinking. Yes, Fantastic. yeah, that too. Place for drinking. Oh. Great place for drinking or getting your hands on something that you shouldn't. <coughs> no. Uh, getting your hands on something you shouldn't. You know, like. Uh, Trelic treasures and relics from the beneath the waves, or you know, the uh, a little bit of something to give you a little, uh, eh? Uh, <laughs> I don't get it. Does anyone, does anyone get it? I honestly, the accent's really difficult for me, <laughs> and I haven't got much of what he's been saying. So I'm really hoping that you'll translate it. Later. It's a good time if you want to relax and wind. It's a good place to go for that sense. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to get a ship. A yeah. ship. You were looking for a, sh a, a ship? I was looking for my ship. W w so what happened? Oh, my <laughs> cursed brother. Stayed in a mutiny. Nearly tried to kill me, getting me off my own ship. I, was, I washed up here, and I've been here for a year. What, what has it got against you? What did you do? Oh, it did nothing. My crew were perfectly happy and healthy. We were living very well, but he wanted fame and fortune. He wanted to make a name for himself and turn my ship into a godforsaken pirate vessel, pillaging villages and stealing from people. That's not how I work. That's how he wanted it. He wanted, he wanted the gold tooth become, to become this infamous pirate vessel. Hmm. And is it capable of doing so? Of doing... Is the gold tooth capable of becoming a... Oh, here that it is. It's, it's getting there. Okay. But I need to get my ship back and dispatch of my disgusting brother. Dispatch? Yeah, well, an eye for an eye, ship for a brother. Well, oh, hmm, that sounds like pirate talk to me. It is what it is. He's a bastard. I don't he care. He sounds like way. it. Um, so what's your actual plan? To get the ship back, I mean. My plan? Get the gold? Buy a ship? Go find my... I spit on the ground. Brother. Right. And then I'll get my ship back, and I'll be perfectly happy. And how much for a ship capable of taking on the gold tooth? A lot. A lot. <laughs> I don't have the exact sum to hand, but a lot. Mm. That's why I've been working here. So how close are you? Quite far away. About half. <laughs> I'd say about half. Yeah, I'm getting there. I mean, let's put it at an average. Like, I might change this. Chat, don't get mad if I change this. Let's say ten thousand gold. Yeah. And you've got like five thousand. Cool. Saved up. Just give me another year or two. Why are there. we talking about ships when we need to heal Sentry? Oh, uh, well, I mean, we've. I mean, we've got to stay here until the storm passes. Anyway, we can't leave when that's overhead. We need to decide which option we want to follow. Oh, actually, could you mark all of these places on my map? Sure. I mean, I don't know everything, but sure. I can't give you my map because it's got other stuff on there that he doesn't know about. Fine. But I will mark it on your map. Thank you. I love that map. <laughs> <laughs> so, was it like good five or six different potential places we could go? Well, one which of them being a, a witch from the bog place. Well, it does boons and curses. That gives, yeah, boons. That and does. a miracle place. I'm sorry to sound skeptical, but. I think I believe more in, in the other ones, the cities. Yeah. And but then again, we have seen some very mysterious things on our travels. No smoke without fire. True. But in, the, in Stenhill, there is a priestess of Kalara. I don't have access to it, but I know of some magical powers that might be able to extend centuries time. I imagine a priestess of Kalara. Oh, you mean you think priest that of someone who is a priestess of the goddess of death would want to prolong a chance of reviving it, someone? I don't know exactly how it works. 
but There's it might work. There's a spell called Gentle Repose that extends the period that you can resurrect someone. I read it in a book somewhere. See, that's useful. useful. That came from a book too. Who might be able to cast that kind of thing? Is there any god that it would be more likely? I mean, Nova, Nova would know that the gentle repose is the, the ritual spell. But its main its main use is preventing bodies being raised as undead. It just has the side effect of the if somebody were to be brought back to life, it extends that duration. Um, and Kalara is very opposed to undead, and so the ritual is normally cast on bodies before they're interred, uh, so they don't become it's undead. Tanks, mm, more like magical protection <coughs> against necromancy. And bomb. Oh, okay. It's using necromatic arts to protect against other necromancy. Yeah, how is um, Sentry looking at the moment? I don't think that <coughs> we should look and judge that. I think we just need to keep going. And oh, look. if that's something that... Just saying I... No, but I'm not going to let you. Because honestly, right now, I don't think you should. Well, I've got a spell, and I think you do as well, that could potentially preserve some parts of her. At least make a look like old sentry. I don't know if mending would work on a body that has no soul in it anymore. No, it fixes things. I've done it on things that aren't in a, that are inanimate before. Sentry healed the same way that we did. I don't think it would. I've mended her before. Yeah, you've mended her armor and stuff, yeah. yeah. Well, it seems like you've got some pretty deep conversation. I'll leave you to it, but... Um... If you've got any questions, me or I can definitely answer them. Sounds like you've got a lot on your mind, strangers. So, if like say... one thing I will say is, if you're heading up to somewhere like Katavag, I mean, it's more like four days traveling on foot. If you're slowed down, that'll get longer, and I mean, the roads are dangerous. There's a lot of creatures out there. We don't tend to travel much. Where we're settled, that's where we're settled. Uh, right. So just be aware. There's a lot of stories, but and I can't tell you if any of them are any good. But they're closer. He just shrugs. What I, would you say is your best bet? I don't know, friend. Never even had to think about bringing somebody back from the dead to mm. us. Once someone's gone, we say our final goodbyes, we say our prayers, and bury them in the swamps. But That's I not... don't know. It's tricky. Mm. I've never, I've heard the stories about uh, the witch. I've heard the stories about uh, the midwife's forge. The only thing I know for sure is that the old Dromar, Dromar, the shepherd, I mean, he's, he's our leader and he's got powerful magics. If that magic can bring your friend back, I don't know. I don't know if it necessarily brings them back as they were or if they, you know, if it just conjures a spirit or something like that, I don't, I, I can't say. I've never seen it done. Hmm. So it's a gamble, I guess. Maybe the priestess in Stenhill would know more. But uh, Stenhill, I heard that. Sounds like a good start, right? Especially if that person can extend the period of time that we have. Well, you're going to be pretty much passing through it anyway if you want to head north. We could get a wagon from there and get to places faster. We definitely need a way to travel faster. Yes. And we need you patched up so that we don't uh, get hurt anymore. Yep, it's rattling around. The oh. thunder is directly overhead, and you hear it when there is a flash of light through the tiny windows in like the earthen floor, and you feel the vibrations in the ground itself. Um, uh, Armol and, and Oriad, it's nothing to those guys, but uh, you know, you feel it's like the lightning just hit outside this tavern. Um, and do you see the thing kind of look up and he's just like, must have hit old, uh, must have hit Blarna's yeah. lightning, lightning rod. Sounds like it. It's a close one. Well, um, this is not going to set this <laughs> on fire. No, is it? Sentry, sentry, sentry. And I like clasp onto Ayla's arm. Yeah. Um, yeah, there is a <laughs> there is a burst of thunder and and the rain outside. The wind is howling. The the shutters are like you know slamming. In fact, I don't even think there would be shutters. They probably have like a interior kind of thing. Um, but you can hear the wind whipping outside. A few shouts and cries. And he's just like, oh, that's a bad one. The storms here they don't seem natural. 
Oh, they're not. Oh, the shepherds have been looking for a way to stop the storms for centuries now, but haven't found anything on how to stop them. They're all, they're all from, are all from the valley, the valley of storms. Hesper, uh, he created the storms. He created them. When the sundering happened, we suspect it's because he's, uh, he was angry with the people of uh, Rois for not protecting his mother. But uh, we just learned to deal with them now, and the shepherds, well, they argue on whether they should be stopped. But uh, most of them, I think, want to try and stop them. But they ain't natural, that's for sure. Do they happen at the same kind of times, or are they no, irregular? Irregular. Don't know, can never predict them. Once you've lived here long enough, you tend to get a sense of roughly when they're going to hit. Uh, you start to see the signs, but they're pretty quick. They move across the land supernaturally fast, and they hit hard. You don't want to be caught outside when there's a storm, I'll tell you that. It's dangerous living. Do you know of any other wild elf clans that might be around this continent? Oh, clans. We don't have clans here anymore. The people that were trapped on Voxar when after the Sundering, uh, they were from all over. They were people from all sorts of different armies and battalions. And then when the Wild Elves came down, when the, they gave up the Sky Cities, well, the people here were so mixed in that their tribes just didn't fit. So after a you know, few hundred years, there's not really tribes or clans left anymore. We're all just people of Murskir now. And he kind of shows off his tattoos, and you can see the lightning bolts. He kind of, when he shows it off, the kind of, uh, the knot works is older, and then the lightning bolt stuff he's added on is newer. He's like, we're all people of Mirskir now. We all work together to survive, so I'm afraid not. But there's plenty of us around. You won't, you won't be seeing a, you won't be afeard of not seeing a friendly face. But, uh, we're all part of the people here now. Hmm. There's some elders, maybe know a little bit more. Maybe heard some stories. Not me, though. I'll keep an eye out for any of those, then. Hmm. Yeah, and say your prayers to Hesper. Make sure you do that before you travel. Or Zephyr. Hmm? Or Zephyr. Or Zephyr. Oh, he kind of, like, smiles. He's like, uh, these storms ain't her. She's, uh, she's a feisty one, old Zephyr. And uh, if we were traveling at sea, uh, you'd want to offer a prayer, but uh, these ain't her. This is, this is the god of the sky. Zephyr wouldn't punish us like this. Not, not strong, brave folks like us. And he kind of like raises his drink. Take a swig along. Mm. Are we toasting? Yes, by all means. Um, as soon as you drink this stuff, by the way, it's like vodka. It's like straight vodka. It's, it's made from like local stuff. It's strong and gross. <laughs> yeah, it burns the throat. He, and he backs off. Like he's, he's, he can happily leave if you don't have any more questions for him. Zephyr wouldn't punish you like this, you said. Not like Hesper. Nope. No. This is sky magic. This isn't. This is This isn't a natural storm. This isn't uh, somebody. This isn't the work of a god uh, who's punishing a, a coward. This is. This is magic. This, this is Hesper. And he kind of looks like. You dumb idiot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm dumb. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. I, I think as soon as, like Nervous says, as soon as this storm passes, we should get moving. <laughs> Agree? I think maybe even through the night. Um, how much time do we have a century? We should make the most of every day. Nine days. Nine and a half at the moment. We could just spend it traveling. Through this? If we find danger along the way, it's also not going to help us. Mm. If we can get there and extend our time safely and get Quill back on his feet, then I think that's a good start. And then we can get a wagon and travel quicker. Mm -hmm. It sounds like you guys have a plan. Okay. It sounds like we need a guide. Well, I am more than happy to assist you if you'd be willing to assist me. Financially, of course. Uh, what are you thinking? Well, since all you, since you guys, well, you clearly have plenty of burdens on your shoulders already, I won't charge my usual rates. Uh, I'll maybe half it. Should we say... 
I'll start with, tw let's, let's do 20 gold from here to Stenhill. Okay. And then wherever else we go from there, I'll just add on from that. We'll do it bit by bit. How about that? I mean, we could use all the help. And you've got plenty yeah. of opportunity to find more gold along the way, trust me. These roads, they're busy. I'll say that. It pays not, for itself. We're not pickpockets or anything like that. We're not Not criminals. necessarily, but we may get rewarded for helping out along the way. Right. In we regards might, to monsters and such. We might not have time. It's true. That's true, but also you may not be able to help it. Well, I mean, we couldn't not help Araya, even when we had no time. These roads are full of monsters and such. Right. So we know our priorities. Mm. Well, let's rest, and as soon as the storm passes and we have some sort of light, I assume we move on. Yeah, so what's the plan? Do you guys want to take a short rest, and then as soon as the storm passes, just get on the road? I suppose that would make it evening, wouldn't it? Uh, you would be travelling into... You'd start travelling early evening, and then, yeah, you would be travelling through the night towards Stenhill. And we've got, we've got lanterns and things, haven't we, and dancing lights and... I mean, you have light sources, yeah. yeah. Can, um... It's just whether we want to travel through the night or not. Sorry, can clerics swap spells on short rests? No. Okay. Long, Long rests. rests. Fair enough. I believe it has to be at dawn, technically, but I just say do it on long rest. Okay. Fair enough. Can we buy rations from, um, what's his face? The, sh the sad answer is no. Like, th there's no store here. Um, he might sell you some food, but it won't be trail rations. Yeah. It will probably only last a day. You might have enough to get you to Stenhill. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to buy that, yeah, he'll send, he'll send you that. Shroom bumps. Yeah, he'll, he'll sell you, he'll basically make up a load of, like, servings of food, and you can take that. Like, you'll probably have to, like, put it into, like, you know, containers somehow um or like it'll be things just like bread and some hard uh mole cheese maybe some boiled snake eggs you can have oh mole cheese yeah Tied well they don't have cows head. here cows can't Thank live on god <laughs> storm <laughs> things. um so they keep the they keep underground Ooh. moles yeah okay keep, like large moles that uh, they use for like meat and you know milking and they milk them yeah how Quite much delicious. would it be for everyone? Like, uh, uh, he's probably going to charge you a premium because this is like his food supplies. Mm. I guess um, I've got some rations still, but how long do they last? Which is a normal ration. Well, I've only got two because someone ate them. <laughs> I've got three. And if we're only going to Sten Hill, that's like a day away if that. Yeah, but your rations are old. Like, that's what you cobbled yeah. together from the crap you yeah. had. For days. This is like <laughs> way past the expiration. Though. Yeah, like you're you're hunt. making your own shit I basically. Yeah, it's just the there. best before. Yeah, that's it's true. Good you after. can actually hunt can for hunt. food. <laughs> you can hunt for food. You can just scrape the mold off the top and it's all good. Licks up. Normally, so <laughs> I think off. he charged you a gold each for a ration. Each? Yeah. It's five silver normally, but this is his food supply. And so he's like, I've got to make up for what I lose here. Sorry. It was only three gold for five meals. Huh? Yeah, because he's like already making food for everybody else. Oh. Like he's but giving we're you. Them out. Yeah, you're yeah. like buying like, hey, we want your stuff to take with us. Okay, fair enough. It's like the difference between like bulk buying, like bulk making a lasagna, and then buying a ready meal lasagna. You know, you don't get as much. <laughs> what I a microwave it. Where's the microwave? Yeah. <laughs> um, I've put a ration in my inventory, so I'm hoping that Nova pays for it. We just have to, it's fine. Yeah, I'll just pay him five gold. Okay, yeah, cool. Pay five gold. Well, technically, you pay four gold, and then Araya has her own rations, so mm. she would have had you, you have trail rations. Um, so, this is our actually, uh, well, at least my first time, I suppose, paying for a bodyguard, a, a, a scout. A guide. What are you? Well, I just I go around, I hunt monsters for Kakul. I keep the road safe, make sure no trouble gets too close to the village. As you can see, it's quite a small place. It's, uh, you know, it's nice to make the town feel secure. And plus, I earn a little penny. It's, it's good work. Okay, so do we pay you now, or, or, or...? I'd say we can do 10 now, and then 10 when we get to Stenhill. How's about that? In that case? Mm -hmm. And if the roads are good later on, I may even reduce my fee. How about that? If we have an easy time? Very generous. Well, 
you guys have had a hard time. It was the, you know, I still need to pay my way, but I want to make sure you guys are protected as well. We appreciate that. Thank you. That's okay. No problem. These roads are not uh, easy going, shall we say. Mm. <laughs> you don't want to come across any uh, bullies, that's for sure. Any? Bullies. Bu Bu bullies. Bule? They come out of the ground and they bite your ankles. Ah. Why would they do that? You can't see them coming. Oh. And don't look at me. Oh, Ryan's the one telling you about this. Smirk on your face. That's because I, I got to tell Rhiannon about cool monsters. That's why I'm smirking. <laughs> that sounds horrible. There's plenty more. There is plenty more. But if we can, if we can kill some of these monsters along the way, maybe when we get to Stenhill, we can tell them the roads are safer, and they might even be able to pay us on our way. Yeah. We also know that, like, you can, like, if you cut them up, people will buy parts of them. Mm. Exactly. Nothing goes to waste in in Merse gear. Stenhill, a wagon is. Mm. Crucial, I want my feet off the ground. Mm -hmm. I, just, I assume you all feel the same way. Well, that and it'll be easier to transport Sentry's body. That too, yeah. absolutely. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. So are we taking a short rest or yeah, a long Yeah, sounds rest? like you're taking a lot of short rest. Short rest. So you can spend hit dice if you need to. Mm. Um, I've already used The storm two. doesn't abate for three, four, five hours. Um, you kind of huddle in this drinking hall um, and nobody else comes in. During the storm, nobody leaves their home. They're not even like crossing the road to go to the... Most people, like you ask uh, Arund and uh, Amald and he's just like, no, no, it's not worth the risk. If nothing else, people have their own supplies at home. They don't need to come here. Um, the storm is so bad, they won't even... I mean, they could, they'd get wet. Wind would blow them around, but there's always the risk. We have the lightning totems, the storm totems. They generally draw most of the lightning away, but okay. that's no guarantees. Especially if you're carrying weapons and armor and traveling around. It'll jump to anything it can. Mm. So, um, okay. but yeah, the storm is howling and terrible and thunderous and loud. But after several hours, it dies down and then there is left with this unnatural calm. There are no animal sounds. The town slowly comes awake, the little village, but there is just this really quiet, there's no breeze. You're just left with this ever so slightly warm, damp air. Uh, the ground is covered in water. It's like thick puddles everywhere you go. Um, you can see that many of the buildings, like little tiles have flown off, like the little, you know, roofs that are, are sticking out of the hills. But for the most part, they, they've adapted the way that they live here. Hmm. Armold uh, gives you rations and it's like, well, I'll let the others know that you're going to be out of town for a while, Oraya. Okay, no Good problem. luck. I hope you can find what you need. You've been very helpful, Armold. Nah, it's fine. It's, yes. uh, you travelers need all the help you can get in a land like this. Well, not all of you, and he kind of looks at Ayla. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, Stenhill. Mm -hmm. Good luck. This way? May the storms pass you by. And he points north. Oh, that way. Follow you. the road. Orion knows where to go. Let's go, guys. Cool. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and you begin traveling. Yeah. First thing I need is I need Ayla to make a constitution saving throw because you're traveling century and it is hard work. Long travel carrying a Natural big Natural 20. No, oh no problems. Um, kind of persevering through it, you just don't slow down. Um, all right, are you pretty much following the roads or are you trying to take shortcuts? Um, I think I know the path pretty well, but then I would think I'd yeah, try and take some shortcuts here and there. Mm, if you want to try and take some shortcuts, it's definitely a survival check. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, 18, 23. Okay, 23, yeah. You managed to cut down um, quite a lot of the traveling time yes. um, by taking little shortcuts. Like, the road follows the deepest valleys it can, and although they're quite flooded, um, so the water is often at like, you know, nearly up to the knees at some points, you take little cuts through areas where the hills aren't so deep, so if there was heavy winds, you'd be fighting against them, but you're kind of like looking up at the air like, yeah, we can travel this way and you know it's safe. Um, and you begin making your way across the plains. So you also, when you go off the path, 
you don't see any like travelers or anything like that. You're kind of making your way through rugged wilderness. Um, you can see these tall sloping hills with these jagged rocks, but also as you travel, you begin to notice scattered ruins. Nothing more than maybe a short wall just sticking out of the ground or the rooftop of a ornate building buried under piles and piles of earth and hills. These ancient ruins just stick up every now and then. You pass a few and you, you actually pull the group away and say like, no, we're going to take the long way around because you glance in the distance. You can see the telltale signs of, telltale signs of a fire um, and you can see some cloaked figures and you know that out there in the roads in the wilderness, there's no way that's not bandits. That's not people that will just try and take what you have because they need it. Um, and so you take the long way round to avoid those guys. Um, so it kind of makes up for the shortcuts you're taking at the same time. Cool. Um, the dark night dominates the world. There are no natural lights. You only have dancing lights, torches, lanterns, whatever you happen to carry, which casts a dim glow over these sloping hills. There are no clouds, the cradle and its multicolored light and the stars beyond it descend down. But there is a, a strange unease about this country. It's so alien and the threat of these looming storms. Um, it is near midnight when you begin to sense Oriah, something, a creature somewhere. Um, you get the sense you see a slight raising of the ground, like a, and then nothing. Um, and you think that you're, that there is something nearby. Okay, guys, something might be nearby. You need to stay close to me. We'll move very slowly, very quietly. Only when I tell you to, okay? Okay. Is this one of those boulets you were talking about? I suspect so. It may be, may not be, but anything could be anything out here, okay? Okay. Shall I get rid of the lights? No. We need those, don't worry. I can see it moving, as long as I can see you it You also moving. know that they can't see the lights. They, they detect tremors, basically. Cool. Just be very quiet, move very quietly. Light foot, light feet, okay? Mm -hmm. No big stompy feet. feet. Light feet, light feet. okay? And we'll just keep moving forward nice and carefully, okay? okay. Light feet. So, stealth checks from everybody. Ayla, you're at disadvantage. Fab. Because you're carrying sentry. Um, Who would have had disadvantage herself? Oh, I got the same roll twice. Uh, oh, she's oh. rolled now. I got the same one as well. Yeah. You would have to push her. That's fine. She has no way to walk horizontally when she's levitated. 19. No, oh, like she Oh, holds. levitate sentry. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. And then Ayla holds it. I mean, to be honest, Ayla would still need to make the stealth checks herself anyway. 19. 19? Uh, 17. 17? Nine. Nine? Seven. Seven, nine. Uh, I got 17. 17? 11. Uh, you have advantage because these oh, yeah. are your um, favorite enemy. Oh, that's better. 16. Ooh. 16, okay. So you kind of follow in a close line. You know, sent, uh, Ayla has sentry like kind of fight like, you know, ox style over your shoulders because you're very delicately trying to step where you're told. Um, Araya, you begin leading them. Um, and you can see at one point one gets dangerously close. You kind of take like a large rock off the ground and throw it as far as you can, and then the kind of scatters over that way. And then you continue moving as best you can. Um, and you try and move over towards, uh, you know, a series of rocks where you can get up on them and try and, you know, wait and see what happens. Um, and yeah, you watch as this large insectoid creature, these hands kind of push up the dirt and this large mandibled insect-like creature, these huge praying mantis claws kind of pulls itself free and the mandibles and it's scanning around trying to find something it knows is somewhere but it can't quite detect. Uh, you recognize them as ankex and you see at least one of them, potentially one more somewhere. But that's where we're going to end oh. today's episode. Oh. You guys wow. are making your way Butters. towards Stun Hill. Oh, in the oh. darkness as well. Oh, God. Yes. Yeah, that's the thing. Is traveling at night. There's not a lot of movement, so these things would be kind of sensitive. Rampant. So. Man. Very welcome, cool. Welcome to Mirskia. Oh, different world. Mirskia is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous. dangerous. I think it's, it's better than the Bitterwood. That's mm, yeah. well. Yeah. First landed. Or so. the Iron Wheel. Iron wick? Iron yeah. Wick. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Mm.
Little Hopefully, bit. poor Nova will, will be happier next week. She's never going to be happy ever again. <laughs> no, that's it. Aww. Yeah. She's going to play her as miserable for the rest of her life. Yeah. Yeah. But man, that was a big level up for all of us. That fight. Yeah. We creamed it well, pretty, pretty good. Also, they were dumb lizard dudes. Also, they were dumb lizard people. That's they, a little racist. They, they weren't that <laughs> dumb. They knew to go, oh, the big scary lady hit with hammer. Make drop hammer now. Not just hit with hammer, hit with hammer twice. Yeah, pretty scary. Yeah. Right. Let's read some donos. Thank you very Woo. much, everybody. Uh, Ola Renve donated, no message, but thank you very much. Always donates, no message, but mm, we appreciate, appreciate it, it Ola Renve. Thank you. Uh, Nartlix donated. I've literally just seen last week's episode today, and holy Hesper, belated hugs to Rhiannon. Aww. And if you still need a little giggle, I'll tell you I have it on good authority that Galanodal is actually pronounced Glen Hoddle, <laughs> uh, whatever the others might say. <laughs> Laura Glen Hoddle. You said, you just said Galanodal wrong. Galanodal. That's how it's spelled. It's spelled there, Galanodal. 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 That's how it's spelled. Galanodal. 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 Am I wrong? Elora Glenhoddle. Yeah, it's been so long. It's been so long. No, it's not been that long. TJ, you need to clear them for me, please. TJ, please. Please. TJ. TJ. I can't clear them myself. I am dumb. Here he comes. There we go. There we go. Thank you, mate. Yeah, I've done that one. Okay. Jolty on fire. Uh, yeah, let's save Sentry. Woohoo! Thanks very much. Yeah. Uh, Punch a Rooney, 95. Generous donation. You're all brilliant. What a wonderful DM. Much love from the US. Aww. Thank you. Thank Thanks you for Punch a Rooney. Uh, Daniel Wright has said, Hey guys, on VOD Squad this week, but I'm looking forward to seeing how you guys are going to cope with this new adventure. <laughs> Have fun, guys, and enjoy the aftermath of last week. Lol. Mm. Uh, Frank the NPC, episode prediction. The Iron Sloth be being traveling a new land to save their lost ally, only to discover a horrible truth. Their new ally that promised to help is secretly an undercover agent sent by the mysterious daddy to kill Lucius. Oh. Those wacky sloths. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a plot. Wow. That Those was wacky plot sloths. Zephri012. So because of conflicts with my own D&D game, I'm at... I'm an eternal VOD Squad fellow, so it's taken me until this week to say, Holy Mother of God, what the hell? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Sussle pops. Tom, do you want to go? Uh, symbol. Uh, first time donating, watched since the first campaign. Love you all and thanks for all the amazing uh, D&D times, plus getting me into crit roll. Also, super love to the best son ever, Theo, who let me catch up on last week's episode before the stream today. Oh. Also, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Symbol. Uh, Lightning Wing Dragon, sand is awful, isn't it, Lucius? The only thing it's good for is castles and sandwiches. Uh, I mean, they don't even contain sand. That would be horrible. Absolutely awful. Tastes terrible. Horrible. <laughs> Thank you very much. I can't believe you. I hate sanded us. I can't yeah. believe it's rough. It's coarse. It gets everywhere. Um, <laughs> oh, Woody is back, but this time he is so sad. Um, oh, so sad. <laughs> Kim, that character development killed me. Nova's bookies. Jeez, I'm still salt division from last week's tears. Don't do this to me. Aww, yeah, yeah, need them don't, no more. Don't, don't lose your little bookies. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Nightjar, uh, all aboard the Phil's train. Next stop, intense emotional pain town. What are you talking Thank about? You. The next town was nice. Yeah. It was actually very nice. I don't think right. they're real towns, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kim. They're all an illusion. <laughs> You've actually been eating dirt. Now you're all diseased. Yeah, maybe uh, Alice literally bounced us somewhere, like, I don't know, into the soul stone or something. You all just, make like, yeah. constitution save. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Matrix. Um, Kim, do you want to take over? Uh, I can't see very well, but um, yeah. Elic25 has donated 400 Twitch bits with a message. You guys are great. Thank you very much. He'll do it. Click. Dark Day 41 has donated. Good thing the party arrived just in time to save those poor, save those poor lizard folk from that mysterious half orc pirate. A nat twenty and a nat one to start off. Balance is restored. All is well. Oh, As all well. things should be. Yep. Mm. Uh, Lightning Wing Dragon has donated. Bring the hammer down! <laughs> you want me Wait. to put the hammer down? I'll put the hammer down. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nice. TSG has donated. Finally got to watch live after a while of being on the VOD squad. Take my money, you beautiful clack boys and girls. Clack my, my chat when I did my stream is obsessed with clacks, which are basically crab mounts. <laughs> and oh they're just God. like, clacks! It's <laughs> a great name for them. They must be loving this episode yeah. then. Yeah, yeah. Um, I hope so. N H Hafner has donated. It's 
me again at the unofficial uh, official keeper of the show's TV tropes page. I fell behind oh. on the show after getting piled on by school and work, but I finally caught up. It's been a roller coaster binging the last few days, but I'm here for the ride. Yeehaw! Thank well, you. Well, thanks Richard. very much. It's awesome that you keep that up, by the way. I have actually read through that there is a lot. Yeah. We're tropey. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah. We twerp. My favorite things. <laughs> Jolty on fire donate again for Reese Axon and to help Emo Nova. Aww. Thank you kindly. I'm not okay. <laughs> Azul Aura donated. Technically, it's Pete. <laughs> this ep was a breath of fresh air and we needed it after last week. Much needed for me as well after yesterday. I nearly had a heart attack after my DM hit my character with a no regaining health curse uh. and then bashed me down to 3 HP. Oof. Jeez. Oof. Risky Bisky. That'll do it. So we've got more. Ori Ri donated our very generous amount. Thank you very much. Daddy Mark, best DM. Managed to catch the session live due to a public holiday. Here's 88 Aussie dollars for luck. Aussie Yay. dollars? <laughs> <laughs> Yay for Rihanna's character name. Oh my god, no way! Oh, oh yeah, it was the same character. That's that really was cool. crazy. They were called yeah. Ori. Yeah. Yeah. Also, that person awesome. must be up at like three, four in the morning yeah, or something. Yeah, that's crazy. They're great. Mm. Oh, You're that's great. crazy. And thank you very much for Varys for your quarter hundo. And thank and you. Metamanu did one as well. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. Cool. So, uh, like, yeah, just do lightning wing dragon. Awesome. So, uh, lightning wing dragon has donated and said, T-shirt ideas, we've been brookstoned. <laughs> or an eye for an eye, a ship for a brother. I love that's the pretty good. I really <laughs> like that quote. We've that's been brookstoned. It's pretty good. Yeah, I said it was uh, a yeah. Sheriff Air has donated and said, Hi Rollers, Pod Squad again for me this oh, week. Pod to Squad. Paraphrase. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum, Life Earth finds a way to interrupt High Rollers. <clears throat> Hope you'll have had, have had a good episode in Vox Art, enjoying Mark's new food creations, and, you know, save our favorite robot mom. Mm -hmm. Try. Uh, uh, try our life. best, dude. <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. Life. Mm. Uh, Ace of Quarters donated again and said, No, Sentry last week. Now, Nova, you guys making you guys love making us jump through emotional hoops, you know. And we wouldn't have it any other way. Aww. Sorry. You're welcome. We love those emotions. Tits emotions. And as all Aura has donated and said, We had zero daddies this week. And of the 108 bets, wow. nine people bet correctly. Clearly, this episode is just a food episode. Pocket E, Aracocra, Deliveroo, and Loops. Also, hugs for Quill now. Now that he's back in the storms as ever. Loved mm. it. Keep being awesome. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I'll grab these ones. Not Alex donated. Thank you very much. Oh, I looked up an image of Boulets in the Monster Man, and I think I'm going to sleep with the light on tonight. Monk <laughs> eggs aren't much better, though. See you next time, high rollers. Yeah. Yeah. Synthorus donated. Forgot to donate last week, but loved the episode. Also donating for the Foley Ship of the Ring. I sadly cannot watch live, but enjoy anyway. Otters! That's fantastic. Um, it's one of my favorite things I love to do it. each week. <laughs> uh, Ryan the Leech donated 500 Twitch bits with lots of Yogg's cheers. Uh, still catching up, up to Knickknack being proposed to Laura. Wow, wow. Oh, got the good work, guys. Australian Sunsons, man. You got a lot of cool shit coming up. Yeah. Uh, so, Butterfree donated. Oh. Uh, you know, Mark, I now have to draw giant mole cows, and there is nothing I can do about it. <laughs> For Butterfree. Love Butterfree stuff. Yeah. You've got a lot to get on with this week. Yep. Yeah, you got yeah. the storm scales, yeah. clacks. Amazing. Mole m milk. Love um, your work. Yeah. Thank they you. They don't have to yeah. draw mole milk. Yeah. Just mole moles. Milk. Hi, Dunny Ken. <laughs> Uh, donated Loopy for Loops, loving the voices, Mark, Trot, whoever has access to chat in a minute, Mod Nightjar Plus. Oh, yeah, we need to Mod Nightjar. On High Rollers? I said it's just good. Yeah, on High Rollers DD. Nice. Well, hey, Congratulations, friends. Nightjar. Thanks very much for joining us for another episode. Big thank you to our sponsors, DD Beyond and Display. Don't mm. forget to go check out uh, the link and go check out our display collection. Use the code High Rolls15, get 15% off, and also get 25% off a legendary bottle on DD Beyond by using the code Warm Plates. Warm Plates. Warm Plates. plates. That's it from us. We'll see you next week. See you in Mirskia. Goodbye, friends. Thank <laughs> you. Bye, friends. Treasure hunters. Treasure hunters. <laughs> the Yarl of Sky.